What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. One Friday fights 58 Super Bond versus Gregorian. And we're really excited to have you folks alongside for the ride. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. First, Five fights of this card are free on One Championship's YouTube channel. So if you want to follow along, go check that out. Every other fight will be on pay-per-view, which you can find at 1FC.com. All right. First fight here. We got Japan versus Japan. Yurei Ishii up against Hatashima in our first Muay Thai fight here of the night. Man, there are some awesome cards coming or some awesome fights coming up here on this card. Like I said, this one's way better than the fight night that's coming out later today. What's up, Ethan? What's up, Michael Jordan? Welcome, welcome, guys. Appreciate you. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, we do live play by play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to comment in the live chat. As we uh, we opened up the weekend of streams last night, we have so many more here coming up. But let's start with this first one here. Round one is about to begin at the mighty Lupini Stadium. It's going to be an awesome card, ladies and gentlemen, despite the John DeBella cancellation. Wow. Round one. Let's get it on. High kick attempt there by Ishii. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock outside Loki, but Katashima. Another high kick by Ishii. It was PFL. A few fights delivered for the most part. Meh. The chat was awesome, though. You guys were awesome, so that was a lot of fun. Glad you're here, Ethan. Same Michael Jordan. It's good to see you, man. It's been a little while. I guess it's been a little while since I've done these Friday fights. Where'd JC at? Two minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Exchanging some kicks here. Nice teep by Katashima. Ooh, nice right hand by... Katashima on the entry. Japan versus Japan in Lupini. I predict the Japanese will win. <laughs> exactly that. Good call. Good call. Right and a left by Katashima. Charles Barkley. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for hopping in last night uh, for the predictions video as well, dude. Woman in 52 seconds on the clock and a nice left hand by Ishii. It's good to be streaming again on a Friday morning. It's been a while. It's been busy with work and life and still haven't been sleeping, but oh, good. No, oh, nice right and a left by Ishii. Ishii tried to step in with the right elbow. Ishii pressuring Katashima into the ropes there. Left jab, left hand, trying to land a left elbow is Ishii. Katashima trying to step out of that. Doesn't want to be pressured into the ropes anymore. He landed a nice body shot on the exit, but man, those elbows that Ishii's threatening him with on the entry. If one lands clean, man, those are deadly. We say we see how they go in Muay Thai. One minute on the clock. Right hand by Kadashima connects, but Ishii lands a two-piece. A one-two on the punishment in the counter. High kick attempt by Ishii and Ishii really throwing the pressure on Katashima late in this first round. 45 seconds on the clock. They clinch. You see Alex Pereira do the face off? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Didn't even bat an eye. 30 seconds. 25 seconds. A nice left by Ishii. I should have said which one because I saw him have a picture with Poliana as well. Boom, boom. I'm ready for some PFL, cuh. Good Lord, I mean LFA. <laughs> me too, buddy. Me too. What's up, sis? Great to see you, man. Oh, I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Story of my life. Oh, a nice right, left, and a right. Starting with the right to the body, followed by an elbow right at the bell, and that's it for the first round. Uh, the fights have started, buddy. The fights have started. We're we're in the second round. We're in the second round. We're about to go in the second round, anyways. Good to see you, Lib. 
Jimmy VC would be good at Muay Thai if he wasn't on skates. I love it. I love it. Bro, that line brawl really tickled my fancy. I'm not going to lie. Charles, you'd be proud of me. Someone asked me, what's one of the teams that, uh, or you'd be happy anyways. Proud of me. Proud of me that I'm coming to my senses. Someone asked me, I say, what team's coming out of the East? And I was like, oh man, the Rangers are sneaky. Not even sneaky good. The Rangers are damn good in that bloodbath of an Eastern Conference. So shout out to you, my friend. Hey, what's up, Vet Sports? Good to see you. Uh, I am on the road today, but looking on and off. Keep it up, bro. Thank you. Uh, I hope to see you uh, throughout the weekend as we're going to be streaming all weekend. But great to see you again. You are awesome. And thank you so much for dropping by. I just shout out to adult shit. Charles has went blonde for the fight. Yes, I saw that. Charles Oliveira. Round two, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Know. Which means I got to hold my end of the bargain here soon. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice counter right in a left hook by Ishii. Step back left by Kadashima. Right in the left and a left by Ishii. Oh, and on the entry with the knee. Kadashima caught him with the right. Dude, they're each throwing in the pocket right now. Hooks after hooks after hooks. They're just swinging. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Kadashima. Refresh it. Refresh it and see if they've started yet. I bought the pay-per-view, so that's where I'm watching it. I'm watching it from the one, uh, the one championship website. But refresh it, because you're right. They're supposed to start it on YouTube. The, the five... Five free fights are supposed to be on YouTube. VC's located great fourth liner. Bro, shout out to VC, man. Hobie Baker to hit up uh, the college free agent back in the day. One minute and 44 seconds. Clinch being thrown to the ground. Is Katashima. Body kick. By Katashima. Katashima with a step back right. Elbows. Ishii continues to pressure him here. Walks in with the left and the right. Oh, and nice step in left elbow by Ishii. But Katashima returns the paper with the right. Left by Ishii. Katashima's been on the back foot pretty much this whole fight. These landing shots. They clinch. Go to the ground. Back up to their feet. Woman in four seconds on the clock. Left elbow by Ishii. Knee by Ishii. One minute left on the clock. Body kick by Ishii. Oh, beautiful right hand by Katashima. Lands clean. High kick by Ishii. Another high kick by Ishii. Left hand by Ishii. Katashima with the step back right. Katashima tried to employ the elbow. Didn't land. You're going to see the range of Ichi is just getting the better of Katashima, but Katashima is still game here. Step in left knee by Katashima. Katashima with the right hand. I honestly don't even know how to predict that one, dude. It's, ugh, it's that one's so tough. If Charles can withstand the, the power of Armin, I don't think the wrestling, the high pace, is going to be the thing that takes him out. It's going to be an awesome fight, though. End of the second round. No, I I forget even what like the bet was with the chat. But I lost some some bet, and so I have to, have to cut my hair and dye it blonde for... And basically just pretend like I'm one of them shoot-the-box boys. So I got to go full fucking blonde short hair Isha for that one. But yeah, Lib. Um, I heard the five fights are free and then pay per view. Yep, what's up, Idaho? First five fights should be free on YouTube and then pay per view. They dropped the price of the pay per view. Um, as soon as as soon as Debella uh had to pull out yesterday, they made it thirty percent off. All right, third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, just on Prime, yep. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Beautiful left by Ishii. Nice checking of the leg kick is Katashima. Ishii throwing the high kick again. Again, this has been a pretty even fight for the most part. 
as far as like Ishii's not dominating Katashima, I do believe that Ishii won the first round. I do believe that Ishii won the second round. And that's just because he's getting more shots in and he's utilizing his range. And that's why. The range and the fact that he can land a few more shots in the exchanges because of that, especially starting the exchanges, is what I think is winning him this fight. Katashima's still game though, man. Hey, no problem, man. Thank you for stopping by. No work here today for you. So you're hanging out watching uh, one, eh? Done my hair blonde once. <laughs> once. I think I, I when I was in like fucking high school, I had a blonde mohawk at one point. Yeah, I was into punk music. I was a little, I was a little punk. One minute fifty five seconds on the clock. Left by Ishi. Ishi trying to land a short elbow. Now that's what Katashima has been. Threatening when they're in the pocket. Oh, left by Ishii. Ishii threatening Katashima into the corner now. Right in the left. And a left elbow by Ishii Katashima. Does a good job clinching there. And look at the left eye of Katashima, man. It's swollen as hell. Blonde hair people. Cheating. Oh, and there it is. The first knockdown. Oh, no. The counting in is a slip. Yeah, nothing landing clean on him, but... Literally just turn my eyes away from the chat back to the screen again. I see the motherfucker go down. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock. High kick by Katashima. Look at that spinning elbows, Ishii. Oh, my apologies. High kick by Ishii. Look at that spinning elbows, Katashima. Nice right to the body by Katashima. One minute left. Katashima needs a knockout here. Or I imagine he's going to lose this, lose this fight. Blonde hair people treat you different in the stores, I swear. Oh, each of them landing some huge shots in the pocket right now, folks. There's another slip by Katashima. 40 seconds. Let's see if Katashima just throws everything in the kitchen sink here at Ishii. 90% of knockdowns are slips in one. It's only a knockdown if the favorite gets KO'd. Twenty-two seconds on the clock. Oh, man. Each of them was trying to land an elbow. They're stepping left by Ishii and Katashima trying to tag him with the spinning elbow. Get out of the way, ref. Good job. Final seconds of this third round. Oh! Katashima eats the left and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Wow. Good, high pace, non-stop action fight here, ladies and gentlemen, to start off this card. Look at that left eye of Katashima too. Swollen as hell. Swollen as hell. You know, Katashima in the pocket, he was game. He landed some big shots in the exchanges as well. Who you got? I do think Ishii won that one. And by the way, Ishii, like, 18 years old, they said. Just graduated high school. All right, listening in for the official decision. Again, big shout out to you guys for joining. Appreciate you. Keep the comments coming. I'll get a poll question up here in a little bit. Yep. Jirai Ishii wins unanimous decision. That was the decision, in my opinion. Friday Fights debut gets a nice unanimous decision. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Kickboxing next year in the strawweight division will. Tee it up here in just a moment. Hey, what's up, Roid Rage? Good to see you, man. Hank and I actually got a lot of lyrics sent back and forth last night with the shot to Jailhouse Blues, dude. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Hey, what's up, JC? It was a good scrap indeed. By the way, Debella fight canceled because Debella failed hydration and now the belt is vacant. Yeah, we were streaming last night during PFL and that news broke. Oh, trust me, Idaho. I've 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 tried. I've tried. I sent a 
I sent a couple messages. Um, hopefully we can talk. Losing the belt in the scale has to be the worst way for it to happen. I know, Denial. I know. Yeah. I hope things uh, sm smooth over Idaho. All right. Let's get this next one going. Yeah, apparently like Zhang threw his name into the into the hat there because DeBell actually beat Zhang was it over a year ago now, but they wanted to keep this fight intact, which fair enough, fair enough. I mean, the worst way to lose the belt is what Jared Brooks experienced for me. I mean, that is pretty bad too. I mean, like, what's worse? Oh, boom, there's the poll question. Dude, you're a beauty. There's the poll question. JC, you're a freaking genius, man. You're a freaking genius. Poll question. What is the worst way to lose the belt? What is the worst way to lose a one championship belt? <laughs> Botched slam, Jared Brooks. Hydration, failed hydration test. John DeBella. I knew it was a good idea for me to hold off. I knew it was a deal. I knew it was a good, uh, a good thing that I held off the poll question here. All right, I'm getting the poll question up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, this is kind of mean for both those guys, but we love them. We love Jared Brooks. We love John DeBello on this channel. All right, poll question is up, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to vote. Hey, what's up in the granite? Good morning, buddy. At least you having fun or trying to gain an advantage. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, but it doesn't. He didn't even. He made weight. It was the hydration test. It was the hydration test because one championship has a very sound way of getting hydrated. And he was super sick. He was hospitalized, right? And so they agreed on a catch weight, but he was like puking and shit at the hospital. So they just decided it wasn't safe. And they stripped him. I mean, the worst way to lose the belt is what Jerry Brooks mean. Wait, when he went to that one. Or you could be like David Benny and lose your belt due to Coke. Who's that um, Chad Hannikin in Dana White's Contender Series? He didn't lose a belt. Well, I guess that was a bad example because he didn't lose a belt. That's just the first name that comes to mind when I think uh, cocaine and <laughs> fighting now. But yeah, that's as far as losing your belt. That's a good example. Good morning, Hoggy from home. Good to see you. Hey, no, appreciate you, man. I'll, I'll jump in uh, Jay's stream here and say what's up to the boys as well. Good morning, Hoggy from home. Good morning, Hoggy from home. Uh, Coco Roy just still in the scale, in my opinion. But what about hydration tests now? Because the scale didn't beat him. He made weight. I vote for David Benny way. Lose your belt due to cocaine. Drug failure. If Peacock fights, I'm listening to your commentary. Uh, oh, there. That's the context. At least they're, at least they're having fun or trying to gain an advantage. Scale, yeah, you just messed up. Again, hydration. It was hydration. It wasn't the scale. Did DeBella go to flyweight or fight Superlek for the belt? Um, I honestly think they just re rebooked this fight down the road again. Because he was supposed to fight Prangenshai last time, right? But he ended up fighting uh, Williams. I know, I know, but it's their weight and rules. Therefore, it's not the scale, though. It's literally not the scale. No, no, I, I'm not putting those two together. It's it's two different things. Um, again, hoggy from home. Good morning. I see you. Uh, shared the link and liked. Thanks in the ground. I appreciate you. Peace him out. To see you in a bit. I woke up an hour early. Nice. Didn't have a good sleep. I slept at two. Yeah, I didn't have a good sleep either. I was up as well. 
It's in the scale, man. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. One is literally a hydration test. One is literally making weight. They're two completely different things. And there's an awesome video uh, that uh, MMA On Point made about it. Uh, won't put the two things together. They do that at the same time. Okay, I don't know. I I I wholeheartedly disagree. Um, I mean, I get what you're saying. They're somewhat in the same lane, but you're being a nerd about it. Yes, yes, that is true. That is true. You're not wrong there. You're not wrong there, but they're not the same thing. Now, he might have been sick regardless because it seemed like that was the issue. Whether it was because he had the botched hydration test because you kind of have to add some other practices. Which uh, the, the best thing was basically like if you can hold in your piss, you can usually pass it. But uh, yeah, maybe there's some other issues as well. I read as much as I could about it last night, but you know, it was reported uh, at the end of the night. I mean, on point is fake news. Have you seen their video on it? Definitely not a fake news video. And MMA on point, they're a they're a list primarily they're a list YouTube channel, right? So they're not really a news reporting channel. The hydration test stuff was was an awesome, awesome series. And I don't know if you guys know about this, but the first installment of that series is one of the reasons why Richie Frank got PP whacked by one championship, and we no longer see him despite him still having his uh ownership stake. Uh, peace out for now. We should see you maybe later. Sounds good. Hoggy from home. While you're doing health and wellness training, your dieting would be basing it all around your weight and hydration. Kind of. Again, it's, it's like a whole weird other animal. Um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I saw Hoggy from home. I saw. Uh, Tabella was sick after the way in, well, before, I guess. And they shouldn't it be best if the fight was canceled then? They re, well, I mean, he showed up. You know, it's not on the promotion if he's going to, if he shows up and decides to to make weight or decides to try to make weight, to try to make hydration, like that's on him, right? That's on him. It's not on the promotion. Uh, the rules are in there for a reason, right? Uh, they tested the same exact time and under the same set of rules and regulations when boxing adds a course of hydrations announced and tested at the same time. To be honest, I'm excited for tomorrow's one fights as well. The main event's going to be awesome. Nice hockey from home. Uh, I think he was murdering last night. He said, shot you chill jailhouse here. You ain't got a uh, squat for food and water. Got to spend all that bonus. Bah! <laughs> Too much this summer. Hell yeah. All right. Round one is coming up here. We got Pemian Zhang. Coming up against uh, Leaf. Zhang's a fun fighter to watch, man. He's a good kickboxer. Bars upon bars upon bars. <laughs> Another progression should uh, hydration be considered as failing on this scale. <laughs> uh, PC later. I'm out to see you tomorrow. See you, Hockey from home. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Zhang in the blue corner. Alif in the red. Alif out of Malaysia, but fighting out of Thailand. And the 20 year old, Pimin Zhang, fighting out of China. A couple of left shots to the body. And look at the height and reach difference between these two. My goodness. Outside low kick by Alif and Zhang with some fast hands. Three punch combo there. Oh, a knee by Alif. And a left by Alif and Zhang ripping the body here early. Ref separates. High kick swing and a miss by a leaf. Oh, spinning kick to the body by a leaf. And Zhang trying to take away his distance. Nice left to the body by Zhang. You got to imagine that Zhang's just going to go for the body and rip the legs on this one. Oh, there's a beautiful counter combo by Zhang attacking the body. Shachi needs to change his matchmaking team because they forgot other fighters that exist. How the fuck does that tall dude make weight and Debella can't? Again, Debella made weight, guys. <laughs> he failed hydration. 
One minute, 52 seconds on the clock. Oh, a nice high kick by a leaf. One minute, 45 seconds. Double body kick by Zhang. Left to the body by Zhang. <laughs> I'm being a nerd about it, like Denial said. <laughs> Oh, a nice shot to the body there. Nice kick to the body by a Leaf and Zhang. Check that second one. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. Again, highly recommend checking out that uh, one champ or that uh, MMA on point video that, uh, that I sent where they put it to the test. The hydration test. One minute on the clock. Oh, a nice right hand by Zhang. Zhang definitely bringing the fight to him here. 57 seconds on the clock. Body kick by a leaf. Zhang rips the body as well. Yeah, I don't think Zhang has gone high once. Zhang is more of a boxer than a kickboxer. Did he have a boxing career before kickboxing? I thought he was just a kickboxer. Oh, a high kick by a leaf. Definitely has more of that style in this fight because it doesn't have the range height and or height that a leaf has, right? So he's going to have to fight this fight in close. Employ that boxing style in the pocket. But really kicks all he does is punch. Yeah, he's good at checking kicks, though. Good at checking kicks. Oh, there's a nice right hand by Zhang followed by left hook. I totally see how you can make, uh, how you, uh, how you come to that conclusion for sure, as far as him being more of like a boxing. Style kickbox here. Doesn't really even utilize the leg kick. I mean, he utilizes the leg kicks. Doesn't utilize the body kicks much at all. And yeah, and his style, especially when he gets into the pocket there and starts throwing combos to the body. Definitely resembles more of that boxing style for sure. All right, round two coming up here, guys. Round two. Oi, oi, hey, good morning, Musical MMA. Bro's a member of the channel too. What's up, dude? I guess not good morning for you. Good evening for you. Good afternoon. Good to see you, man. You watching some one championship? First five fights. I don't know if they're free in your region on YouTube. They should be. But uh, some good Muay Thai and kickboxing to start off our day. Can't complain. Can't complain. I caught some of that uh, cooking show. That was fun. I've just woke up, so yeah, morning. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, and a nice left by Zhang round two, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers, buddy. Nice hot coffee. Yeah, whenever I stream, I have to buy the pay-per-views, guys, because if it bugs out or, or craps out, right, I have to, I have to be calling something on stream. Uh, can't watch, but I'll listen for a bit. Appreciate you, dude. Two minutes and 35 seconds. But yeah, JC, if I was in your shoes, might might be the same. Might be the same. No, the roommates are gone. Uh, one of them is at a bachelorette party in um, Florida. The other one's at a hockey tournament in Michigan. So it's just me. Zhang with the right and the left. Zhang's actually going high now in the pocket. Spamming body kicks is a leaf. Two minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. <laughs> but yeah, good observation. <laughs> Yo, these commentators get worse every show, Isha. Yeah, they brought in a, a an, an unfamiliar face for this one. Good, you can yell your heart out. Yes. You can yell to your heart's content. Dude, Zhang's looking damn good, man. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. Nice counter left and right and left. He's got some fast hands and he's just ripping the body. You should have seen me on the Ryzen stream uh, a couple weeks ago when they were, they were both away for that weekend as well. Oh, another shot to the body by Zhang. A leaf with the kick to the body. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. Oh, right by Zhang. Zhang's pressured a leaf into the corner here, taking away at least biggest tool here, which is his kicks and a left and a right to the body as well. One minute and five seconds on the clock. Oh, man, Zhang ripped, like, taking away the space, getting right into the pocket, absolutely ripping the body up. 
Man, the pressure here. Seemingly too much for Alif. Alif can't get anything going at this point. 42 seconds on the clock. I'm craving pizza for some reason, bro. Like, literally woke up and wanting pizza. Bro, I didn't even eat dinner last night. Like, after the stream, I was hanging out with... I was talking to Hank and a few guys. Um... And then I actually recorded a hockey podcast that I missed earlier in the day. The next thing I knew, it was like 2 a.m. And I was just like, oh, I just I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. So I didn't really even have dinner. So yeah, I, I could go for some morning pizza. My roommate calls it pizza eggs. He gets a uh, cold. He, he whenever his leftover pizza, will, like cut it up into cubes, put it in a pan, put some scrambled eggs over pizza eggs. Zang beating him like he owes him money. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? All right, let me quickly... Uh, and that's it for the second round, guys. That's it for the second round. What a what a dominant round by Zhang, man. First round, not that like the first round was close. I do think Zhang won the first round as well, but that... But boy, oh boy. That second round. Look at this, man. Jay Smooth looking like shot three up in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm in, uh, just jumping in Jay's chat right now. I'm saying, wait, shot three is hosting? Give John his belt back. All right. Third round's about to start, but I had to jump in and say what's up to Jay. Throw him a like on his video as well. All right. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Zhang be beating him like he was a money. I'm the youngest light heavyweight champion of the world. What's up, Roman? Good to see you. Yeah, Rush Hour is live too. All right, round three. Rush Hour will be live tonight for uh, the fight night too, guys. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Nice body kick by a leaf. On the back foot is a leaf. Oh, a nice right hand by Zhang. That lands on the target. Body kick by a leaf. But Zhang enters the pocket again. And Zhang, you see his right arms. Oh, a nice front kick by a leaf. That lands. But you see the right arm of Zhang starting to bruise a little bit as he's been blocking so many of the shots. Zhang making this pay per view worth it. So far, yes, he is. So far, yes, he is. Two minutes on the clock. Oh, a high kick by a leaf. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock, and Zhang rips the body. Zhang with the right uppercut. High kick by a leaf. Oh, a nice hook and a left uppercut. Dude, that was beautiful. Left hook, right hand, and left uppercut. So quickly by Zhang. I'm doing good, man. Hope you're having a good morning. Good to see you as always. One minute and 29 seconds. is another left of the body by Zhang. Zhang tries to go high with the right. High kick by Leaf. I mean, that's his thing. Leaf, he's just spamming them high kicks. Who does this guy think he is? Superlek? Left by Zhang. Right by Zhang. Right counter right by Zhang. I just woke up. All of us just did, I think. Man, Zhang showing that there's levels to this. He wants that title shot again. Um, do you want to come up Pluto or Joker Candy with Cadillac Rainbow? Uh, uh, man, I it's like asking a kid like which chocolate bar he wants. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you make the executive decision. <laughs> I trust you, denial. 30 seconds on the clock. All good. You you choose, buddy. They all look amazing. Like I said, it's like it's like a kid going into a candy store, a kid going into a toy store and saying, pick one. Oh, nice right hand, Zang. Fine, I tried. No, I, I, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I have a hard time making decisions. <laughs> We're making choices like that. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it.
Hold on, hold on. Let me let me pull up. So you sent me some pictures. So let me check it out quickly. Uh, da, da, da. All right, like I said, guys, that was it for the third round, and Zhang should win this one with flying fucking carpets. Um, ooh, ooh. Da, 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 da. I mean, the Pluto looks fucking damn good. I mean, wh what are you more inclined to to send? Uh, I'm Iron Roman the Faster. Every fight after this should be like this. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, overall, it's going to be a good card. All jokes. I hate text. Doesn't provide tone. Uh, Going to have to start typing. Type sarcasm after statements. Okay, got you. <laughs> I should just assume at this point, right? Uh, right, Idaho? Or sorry, right, Denial? What's up, Nathan? Is Jacob Smith on this card? No, Jacob Smith is not on this card. But Jake Peacock is. Good to see you, Nathan. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We will write in our pick. wins unanimous decisions. I leave gonna have nightmares, dude. Bro looks more like the Slenderman, and he's gonna have nightmares. Great win by Zhang. That was an absolute clinic. Peacock is next. He's becoming my favorite Muay Thai fighter now, and I'll be watching him along with since I'm a Nathan. When does Jacob Smith fight? Oh my god, the one-armed guy from Canada, no less. Let's go. Man, if that was a four-ounce gloves match, a leaf would have been slept. Or his live like he... Zhang did land a few big uh, right hands, but his body would have been absolutely destroyed. What did Jacob Smith like? Jacob Smith is not on this card, my man. Jacob Smith is not on this card. When the heck is he fighting again, Jacob Smith? Uh, so he's fight. Oh, he's fighting later today, buddy. He's fighting later today on the one, uh, fight night 21 card. I, I had a feeling he was fighting on that card. I just wanted to double check. So yeah, uh, Nathan, he will be fighting later, later today or later tonight. I don't know where you are in the world for us. It's later tonight. Imagine Haggerty fighting a one hand fighter and losing. I will die happy. Oh yes. Let's go. Um, Nathan, it's, it's at the, it, it's, it's the one, uh, Friday fights or it's not Friday fights fight night card. So like, again, I, where, where are you in the world, Nathan? Cause that will help me. Are you, are you out in the UK? Are you in North America? For those in North America, it's tonight, right? It's tonight. Um, eight o'clock Eastern, if I'm not mistaken, but again, I, I don't know where you are in the world. You're in England. Okay. Well, that changes everything. It is at, so you can do the time change uh, conversion, <laughs> but I'll tell you the exact time it starts here. Give me one sec. Mm -mm -mm. So the fight starts, yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern. You know what, I'll do, I'll do you a solid. So 8 p.m. Eastern to UK time. So 1 a.m., 1 a.m. for you. Zangvers Prenjet trying for the vacant belt, so Debella moves up. Well, again, <laughs> I don't think it's a, like De Debella's tiny. I don't think it's a weight issue per se. So I don't think he's going to move up. I think if anything, um, Debella gets another shot with Prenjet and Zang either fights the winner or gets squeezes another fight in. Uh, it's on again. I, I, it's hard for me to say, buddy, because I'm not in the UK. I don't know where you guys typically watch them in the UK. For us in North America, it's on Amazon Prime. It's not a pay-per-view for us. It's on Amazon Prime for us here in North America. This one is a pay-per-view, um, but that one is not. That one's, you know, however you consume one fight nights, that's how you'll consume it, buddy. Uh, Nicolette Newellchai. I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe John does move up. Uh, again, from what I've been reading, from what I've been seeing, it's not necessarily a weight issue. All right, guys, I got to whip out the... Oh, Canada. Terre de nos aïeux. 
This guy's got a wicked left hook, ladies and gentlemen. But well, we're rooting for our Canadian brother. Oh my God, Nathan. I'm just going to send you the here. Nathan, all the info is here, my man. It's, I guess, technically going to be Saturday for you because it's 1 a.m. But there's the topology page, brother. Uh, me and my bro made uh, Anatoly into a meme and saying he would fight for strawweight champ because he keeps moving down divisions. God, I don't think that guy can shrink anymore. But yeah, Nathan, so technically Saturday for you because 1 a.m. your time is when the card starts. For us, it's 8 p.m. Eastern. For you, it's 1 a.m. All right. Let's uh let's tee up these next two fighters, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal LFA card tonight. Dude, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there live, dude. I already got my tickets. Wait, you're going? Bro, no way. You're going? Fuck yeah. Dude, let's go, man. I can't wait to meet you, buddy. I will be there. Dude, I'm going to be there at 430. I'm going to be there to stamp my ticket right when the amateur fights start. I'm an absolute, like, psycho. As you know, I'm a fight junkie. I don't even miss the amateur fights, brother. Dude, I'm so fucking still. Can't wait to, uh, I don't know if you indulge in the wobbly pops, but if you do, can't wait to have a beer with you, man. Metallica fan, it was, oh, I don't know how much it is Canadian, but they dropped the prices a little bit since DeBella can't be on the card. Um, it was only $25 USD. But good to see you, Metallica fan. You better yell in front of LFA cams, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try my best to, if you, to, to get your guys' attention. I will be the most Canadian looking mafia there. Um... I think there's one Canadian on the card too. So I'm going to bring my Canadian flag and I'm going to bring my freaking jean jacket. So if you see, you know, <laughs> the Canadian flag bearing jean jacket, motherfucker in the audience, that is me. Yeah, that, hey, Nathan, that's what I've been saying, brother. That's what I've been saying. For you, it's Saturday because it's technically 1 a.m. So 1 a.m. Saturday for you. Dude, you're going to be with one of those two men. Denial, you're the best. Yes, that thing was awesome. Obviously, I'm going to reimburse you, but appreciate you, man. Bro, be carrying that maple syrup. Yeah, I like the hybrid. That, that shit was awesome. You were right. Uh, LFA would be dope to see live. Only regional show uh, I've seen live was pretty slack. Yeah, he, did you go to the BFL? I'll be on stage. I'll make all the noise you want. Nice, dude. Nice. Someday I'll, uh, I'll be able to afford some, some uh, tickets for that. Uh, walking out. Walking out right now is Jake Peacock, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Newell 2.0. Let's go. Out of Calgary, Alberta. I used to live in Calgary, guys. Spent three years in Calgary. The mo one of the most underrated cities in Canada. Regional shows are fun as fuck. Yeah, dude, Mystic does a great job. It's got that old, old school UFC vibe. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Nathan, I sent you the link, man, to the event, brother. I sent you the link to the event. You can, you can answer all your, uh, that, that will answer your questions, man. Like I said, I, I've already, I feel like I've already answered your question. So I don't know if you're like trolling me at this point. I'm trying to be as helpful as possible, buddy. It is at 1 a.m. UK time. I, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I feel like you keep asking me the same question. I keep giving you the same answer, my man. BFL's hit and miss. BFL's... Oh, yeah, I forget you're not in Vancouver. I keep thinking... Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I assumed you're in Vancouver. FLA is the promotion usually. Yeah. BFL is getting better in uh in BC and then TKO used to be pretty good. Um and MM and Unified MMA is pretty good now as well. Uh FLA. 
Auditorium setup looks dope. Yeah, dude, it's awesome in there. It's awesome. Yeah, dude. Pico's other hands considered a puncher and elbow. That's a good question. First there was stamp. Now we have stump Fairtex. Yo, this is crazy. What's up, Dark Star? Oh, Canada. Hey, it's cool to see him got the maple leaf patch on the shorts, baby. Let's go. It's the dark side of Patrick Star up in this chat. <laughs> All right, guys. By the way, the, uh, there's a few more fights free on YouTube for those who don't want to watch the pay-per-view, so go check those out. All right. These are fighting at, what, 145? All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, Let's get it on. What's up, Leela? I'll be quiet for a while. I focus on Peacock. Good to see you, Leela. I hope you're having a good day at work. We've got a one-armed fighter here. Checking the low kick is Peacock. Peacock with the left jab. Peacock with the counter right. Peacock with the left. I mean, it's, let's be honest. It's only going to be the left. Peacock blocking the left hook from Shinjo with his right arm. Left jab, and he threw the freaking right arm too. Man, this is crazy. Good for him. He's like, his technique is obviously unique given his situation, but man, high kick by Peacock. I'm live in the showroom. Nice. Two minutes on the clock. Well, this is Muay Thai right now, and there's a one arm fighter. It's the new Nick Newell here. Peacock from Canada, or UK and Canada. Can you parry with that nub? Apparently. Apparently. High kick. Well, I mean, he's he's flexible. He's throwing those high kicks with ease. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. But he landed one shot. With his left arm slash nub. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. He just landed another shot there with the right. In the clinch. One minute and 25 seconds. They separate. Outside low kick by Shinjo. Straight left jab by Peacock. I'm going to say straight left jab the whole time. It's just it's just natural for me to call what I see, but it's, it's always going to be his left when it's a jab. They clinch again. A nice knee by Peacock. Peacock pressuring Shinjo into the corner. Oh, a nice left hook by Peacock. Peacock literally throws the right. High kick by Peacock. He, he landed it on Shinjo. I think that rocked him a little bit. Shinjo with the left to the body. Threatens the knee and steps in with the left is Peacock. 28 seconds on the clock. Bro, Peacock's going to win this first round. Low kick, high kick attempt by Peacock. 23 seconds. Eighteen seconds. Push kick by Peacock. Peacock with the low kick, then left straight. Peacock catches the kick of Shinjo. No joke, bro. This is crazy. One weakness for Peacock is a liver shot since no arm. That is true. That is true. Bro, one one round goes to Canada, man. One round goes to Canada. Wow. Peacock is the master of seven limbs. That was a good round. Dude, I'm impressed. I watched a little bit of his fights like throughout the week and like, I mean, one championship. Giving this guy a chance, obviously. But, like, he's he's a fighter. He's a pro fighter. one arm warrior, what a time to be alive. Dude, and he won that first round, too. What's up, HM? Imagine losing Muay Thai to a one-hand fighter. Dude, especially, like, especially coming out of Japan. Like, these guys, whenever they lose, it's almost like they, they take it so, so to the heart. It's like dishonoring their family, dishonoring their, their team. 
Got to imagine that this one might sting a little bit. All right, round two. Peacock ain't a master of eight limbs. He's the master of seven limbs. Yep. Much respect for Peacock. Two minutes and 42 seconds on the clock here. Right hand by Shinjo. Knee by Shinjo on the entry. Can I compete in left way after my decapitation? <laughs> Two minutes and 27 seconds. There's a right by Peacock. Yes, that is right. A right. He threw it in the clinch. Two minutes and 19 seconds. Peacock doing a good job of pressuring Shinjo into the ropes. Shinjo with a nice right to the body. Nathan, it's Friday night for us in North America. It's 1 a.m. for you in UK, buddy. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Pressuring Shinjo into the corner as well. One minute and 51 seconds on the clock. <laughs> How's it Friday nights if it's early hours? Friday fights is the name of the is the name of the show. Friday fights, not Friday nights. One minute and 36 seconds on the clock. Uh, he does a finger on the stump though. Should it be gloved? Uh, it's bare. I don't think it's barely a finger. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, anyways, Nathan. <laughs> I feel like we've already answered the question. I mean, I, I don't know, buddy. That's a good question. I don't know. But if you're concerned about watching, it's at 1 a.m. UK time as we uh, as we determined, my man. Oh, I, I have no idea, man. <laughs> I ain't Google, Nathan. I'm not going to lie, brother. I I I'm just trying to focus in on this fight, and I, I appreciate you being here. I'm not, I'm not saying don't ask questions. Continue to comment. But, like, I, I feel like you can get the answer from Google easier, <laughs> easier than me <laughs> in regards to that. Uh... I don't know what it is, and I don't know what the Thai conversion. You know what? I'll look it up for you. I, I will straight up Google it for you because that's how much I appreciate you here. So it will be in the morning for Thailand. It will be 7 a.m. in Thailand on, in, on Saturday. They're, they're like a whole day ahead of us. So 7 a.m. Saturday for Thailand, 8 p.m. Eastern for on Friday for us here in North America. 20 seconds left on the clock in this second round. I got you, Nathan. I love Peacock's guard. Dude, he actually blocks shots with it, too. It's crazy. He's doing a good job of just pressuring Shinjo here. Taking away whatever space. Whatever range. And that is it for the second round. Two O Peacock, yeah, I think so too. Modified Diamond Guard, so cool. Uh, the Friday fights meant it was Friday night. Well, it's fr <laughs> okay. Friday night meant it was Friday night. They fights. Well, I mean, it, it's a little bit confusing just because it's a global, it's a global broadcast now, right? So the time, the time difference is going to be obviously a factor. But why they do them back to back is this one's Friday night, right? The Lupini shows Friday night for those in Thailand, Saturday morning for the for the fight nights. But for us in North America, that the fight nights are mostly for North Americans, right? And I just say that because that's that's that was one championships deal with Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime, you know, for the most part, people in North America. Should I but not be a puncher and elbow? I need an answer. God, that's such a good question. I don't know. I don't know. That short, short hook, though. Very short hook. But no, it is confusing, dude. But I guess for us in North America, it's not as confusing because it because <laughs> we're just kind of used to it. But I, but I get why you're confused, buddy. I think you got to count it as an elbow. Dude, just hit him with the nub. Dude, I know. In the clinch, he does a good job with it. Lower limb amputation, the best base for clinch striking. Uh, lower limb. Two minutes on the clock. Eating a left jab was Peacock. Still pressuring Shinjo. Oh! Beautiful left high kick by Peacock. Dude, Peacock is beating this cat up. 
The nose of Shinjo is leaking right now. Spinning heel kick to the body, followed by a head kick by Peacock. Peacock's smiling right now. He'd be unstoppable with two hands. His technique is good. He's he's probably so like he's probably a little bit more flexible than than a lot of his opponents just because he has to rely on his kicks so much more, right? The disadvantage is his advantage. One minute and 18 seconds on the clock in this third and final round. Outside low kick by Peacock. Shinjo just looks defeated right now. Looks labored. Looks tired. Maybe his nose is busted up. There's a right nubbin freaking shot by Peacock, ladies and gentlemen. Peacock is unstoppable with two hands. That's why God nerfed him so mortals have a chance. Oh, and now he tries to land a switch knee. Didn't land clean. Counter right by Shinjo. 43 seconds on the clock. They reset. The angels, or the angles he's coming from have to be different than anything he's used to. That is true. That is true. Uh, I don't. Um, I, I've never really just trained boxing. My My striking base was... <laughs> Kickboxing and Kung Fu. Dude, huge right hand by Peacock. Look at that cut. Is there a cut? Yeah, there's a cut right under the left eye of Shinjo. But yeah, Roman the Faster, he's our resident boxer in the live chat. He's training every day. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, what on? Look at the respect right away. Peacock bows to him, man. What a display of respect, man. Unbelievable performance. Unbelievable performance. Oh, Canada. Terre de nos aïeux. Peacock's base for uh, Muay Thai's karate. Mad respect, dude. Absolutely. He truly is the one. Mad respect. That was crazy, man. And again, he, he definitely is like... He's definitely damn flexible. Now, I know Shinjo is not necessarily the best fighter, but what a performance, man. What a performance. Cheddarhead. What's up, Cheddarhead? I do sometimes kickboxing MMA, though. Nice, dude. Cheddar, did you catch that last fight? What the fuck? Why? Why, Cheddarhead? Dude, you did not have to do that. Bro, $10 donation? Are you kidding me? Dude, and he's got a hat because he's from freaking Calgary. He's got the cowboy hat. Hey, Jake Peacock, let's go. Dude, Cheddarhead, you did not have to do that, brother. You did not have to do that. Dude, this guy drops in my live chat with the oi, 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 and drops a $10 dono right off the bat. Are you kidding me? Bro, you are far too kind, man. Seriously, you did not have to do that. Dude, good fucking morning, bro. Holy shit. Seriously, man. Like, like I tell my, you guys, I never expect donations. I'm never going to ask for donations. I'm never going to ask for you guys to give memberships. All I ask you, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment, interact, and vote in the poll question. And look at this beauty. $10 out of the bat. Dude, seriously, man. Thank you. That It means a lot. It means a lot. Seriously. Wow. Welcome to the motherfucking channel, boys. Oh, this man, this is so wholesome. He's just saying, you know, Thailand, I love you. One championship, I love you. Thank you so much for this incredible platform. Jake Peacock is the next star. F the top five. Let Haggerty fight him. Oh, God. Bro, again, one more time. Thank you to Cheddarhead here, man. Really appreciate you. Oh, he's just dedicating this to his whole family. I mean, this guy, even though he's, he's even though he's uh, he's got that English accent, uh, he does train out of Calgary, bro. Yo, uh, I don't know if Charles Barkley's still in the chat here. I wonder if his tilt MMA is that in the UK or is this in Calgary, bro? No joke. This is where Rempe trains. This is where Matthew Rempe trains in the off season, dude. He. Literally trains at the same camp as uh, Matthew Rempe in the National Hockey League. That's crazy.
Yeah, man. Wow. What a surprise. Hey, Western Mass Climber. What's going on, buddy? My trailer park boy loving friend. My fellow trailer park boys loving friend. Yeah, Cheddar was in here. I mean, friggin' um, Musical MMA was in here as well. Bro, I... I think like, what a great start to the day. Not just because of the $10 dono, not just because of that, but I found out that uh, one of my friends here in the live chat, uh, do for it gaming. He's going to be at the LFA event tonight. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I get to see you there, man. We got Western mass in the, in the live chat. So far, the fights have been awesome, man. <laughs> talk about the dopamine rush. Talk about me. Talk about the dopamine rush. Wow. Unbelievable. That was crazy, man. I used to live in Calgary for, for like I said, for a few years. Uh, right after high school, a few months after I graduated high school, I packed my shit up, moved to Calgary. Um, but I graduated high school from two, in 2011 in our economy. I mean, for those in North America, in the United States and Canada, economy was absolutely in the shit. So it was so hard to get a good job. Couldn't afford university yet. So I packed my shit up and... and I got my oil rig ticket and was going to go work on an oil rig in Calgary. Lucky for me, a uh, blessing and a curse is I didn't make that oil rig money, but uh, I got a job in a, in a cabinet shop and learned to trade there. But spent three years in Calgary, three of the best years of my life. Absolutely love Cowtown. Base Cheddarhead. Uh, one's comment section when Peacock fought was wild. Dude, I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, Central Time. I'm in Minnesota. I'm from Canada, from uh, Vancouver Island originally, but uh, no, I live in Minnesota now. Um, I'm half American, half Canadian, so I can uh, I can live in both countries. But uh, yeah, originally from uh, the West Coast, lived in Calgary for a good chunk of time. Went to school on the West Coast, though, but uh, now I'm in Central Time. I'm an hour behind the East. And, hey, another a fellow 93. Dark Star, literally my birthday is uh, this weekend, too. Sorry, fucking 31, bro. Uh, Romans from the Czech Republic. Hell yeah, dude. You guys, got, you guys got a booming junior hockey program there. The Czechs always, always make it a tough outing for uh, the United States and, and Canada in the World Junior Hockey Championship. I'm a, honestly, I like the world junior hockey championship more than I even do like the NHL as a whole. Oh man. What a, what a great change of pace from the friggin' PFL pacing here in one championship. From now on, I will be a diehard Peacock fan, bro. Wasn't even trying this fight. Uh, he just won. Cause he's that good. Uh, anyone here from the East coast? Hey, what's up, Zinus? Yo, I'm so long late. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you, Zinus. Long time supporter of the channel, ladies and gentlemen, our boy Zinus. Zinus, did you catch that last fight? The one arm Canadian? Unbelievable. He's one and a half arms, but still, unbelievable. Good to see you, Zinus. Good to see you, as always, man. All right. East coast of Canada. Let's go, dude. I can't wait to make, make uh, my way out there soon. I've only ever been to Halifax once, but I gotta, I gotta make my way back to the, uh, the Eastern islands of Canada being a Island boy myself. <laughs> I got to make my way back to the Eastern Canada. Peacock is now turning on Facebook. How is Twitter? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, he's not trending on Twitter yet. Wow. I'm alive, bro. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, I did. He's fucking amazing. Well, in fairness, Zinus, there hasn't been a fight night, uh, a one fight night in a little while. And I haven't been doing the Friday fight, so. So fair enough, fair enough. But it's good to see you here today, man. Good to see you here today, as always, brother, as always. He's fucking amazing. Dude, he really is. That was, that was wild. That was wild. All right, let's check out these next fighters here. Let's check out these next fighters. 
We have uh, Kompech versus Kongchai. Let me see. Maybe I can get a better... Uh... Oh, man. What the heck is going on here? Maybe I can get a better graphic on screen. Usually one championship's website, I can get like the whole... Okay, I do have the whole card here. I might just switch that up. I might just switch that up. Give me one sec, guys. Give me one sec. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then we can get a little bit of info on these guys, more than what Tapology provides us as well. Okay. So this one's catch weight. All right, we'll do that. Here, give me one sec. We're going to just change this here up on screen. I, I'll still keep uh, Tapology handy on another tab, so we can keep tabs on that. But yeah, this one's a little, this one just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. There we go. There we go. Uh, no, that's a uh, Nick Newell. I've done MMA or kickboxing. I've never trained MMA, um, but I did just like point fighting with the friggin' kung fu and kickboxing base. But that was when I was super young, um, and now I casually do jujitsu. I'm in Queens, New York. If anyone goes to a showroom and sees Isha on the TV, you have found me. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Nick Newell. Peacock's leg game is legit with those different combos and high kicks. Yeah, dude. It, it seemed like he was just on another level flexibility-wise as well. <laughs> Nick Newell's he's pretty old now, is he not? He fought Justin Gaethje in the World Series of Fighting. All right. Fighters now performing their whack crew. And while they do that, let's take a let's take a quick look at these guys. Uh, Compet Fairtex, he's 23 years of age. He is 3-1 and one in one championship on a three-fight win streak. His only loss in the promotion came to Pranjanchai, which was his first ever fight in the promotion. One KO TKO, two unanimous decisions, and he lost to Pranjanchai by unanimous decision. Looking at Kong Chai, both these guys fighting out of Thailand, he's 21 years of age. Um, man, he's actually fought a lot more. Was it two, four, six fights in the promotion, and he's gone five and one in one championship. Lost to Compet. So this is a rematch, as he lost to Compet unanimous decision, uh, two fights ago. But his last fight, he beat Xavier Gonzalez. He actually has two wins over Gonzalez. Five wins, one losses, three unanimous decisions, one KO, one majority decision? So, split decision? Big shout to everybody in the live chat here. Really appreciate you guys. And, um, oh, sorry about that. Froze a little bit there. Sorry, my connection's been just been kind of shitty the last day or two. But we're good. We're still here. Again, big shout out to Cheddarhead, man. I, I can't believe that. Uh, Prangentia is the most fights and wins than Rod Tang. Prangentia is legit. It sucks we won't see him fight to Pella today. All right, fighters are being announced in the ring now. Uh, Jake Peacock will pave the way for others like him to join one or just, just an inspiration, um, you know, to those with seven limbs who want to train martial arts, who want to train Muay Thai. Really cool to see. Really cool to see. All right. Like I said, guys, fighters were just announced in the ring. wakru has been performed. They've been announced. Let's get to some more freaking violence. Let's get to some more freaking violence here. All right, round one is upon us. Official just giving them the rules here. I mean, they fought before. They know what's coming. Dude, I'm, I will honestly try. 
It's I, I will honestly try. Throw my little Canadian card his way. I'm sure he'll jump on. As far as pay-per-view is worth it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Round one. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, Robert? Hey, should this one card is on Sky Sports YouTube over here. Two minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Also, I think Rob Tank versus Takeru is up next. And I hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Good to see you, Robert. Thank you so much for stopping by. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Yeah, so here it's pay-per-view after this fight, which I bought the pay-per-view, so. Which Cheddar had is literally funded, so thank you, man. Oh, nice left and a right by Compet. Compet in the red corner, by the way. Kong Chai with the better trunks, too, in the blue corner. Maybe Rod Tang versus Takeru will be the next Tokyo card. I imagine so. I imagine so. You might as well. If you're going to use Takeru, you might as well use him in Tokyo. Body kick by Compet followed by a left. Oh, and a nice a step back right by Compet. Inside low kick by Compet. Kong Chai does check it. Again, really appreciate you guys hanging out with us this morning. Body shot or body kick by Kong Chai. Compet caught it and landed a one-two combo. Those uh, blue trunks are fire. Yeah, dude, they're sick. Dude, Muay Thai shorts are are the and, and, as far as combat sports go. Combat sports kits. Muay Thai, way, way sicker shorts than boxing. Nice right hand by Com Compet. Oh, a nice counter left hook by Compet. Must be switching after this fight. Yeah, I've just been watching it all on like the pay-per-view, but I know a lot of the, the homies are watching on YouTube right now. And I bet Rod Tang going to pull out again. Old man Fairtex, such a dog. All of these kids. One minute on the clock. Look at all these kids. <laughs> 55 seconds on the clock. Step back left and a high kick by Combat. So far, Combat, Combat's been pure domination. Body kick as well. Freaking old man Jitmung Jung as well, man. 42 seconds on the clock. Here's a nice step back left hook. Hopefully Rod Tang doesn't pull out of that one. I want to see that fight. Oh my goodness, big, big shots by Compet as he pressures Kong Chai into the ropes. Kong Chai clinches. 25 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds. Swing and a miss with that right hand by Kong Chai. 10 seconds on the clock. Kong Chai with a kick to the body. Oh, big right hand by Compet. And that is it for the first round. Man, what a great round by Compet. Great round by Compet. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Will you stream also, bro? Will you stream later also, bro? I, I'm i going to the... I'm unfortunately not. And, and you know me, Zanis. I, I, I rarely miss a fight night. It sucks that for a second time that I'm going to the Legacy Fighting Alliance show here in uh, Mystic Lake, Minnesota... Uh, it will, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a one championship event on as well. So I won't be streaming that later tonight just cause I will be at an MMA event live. Um, 5 30 Eastern is when it starts and I'm going to be there for the full, like six to seven hours. Ong Chai Chane Don Mwang, I think. Chane, Chane Don Mwang, I think. What I like from your live streams, even when doing commentary, we chat like friends. Oh, hell yeah, man. I try to, I try my best to read all the comments. I try my best to catch up on all the comments too. Last night was the hardest night because we had so many people in the live chat. Funny enough for PFL. But uh, no, I appreciate you here, JC, as well. Round two. Let's Demi, you're going to miss fight night. At least you got Friday fight. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm kind of bummed that the live show that I'm going to is on the same night as one championship. But one of the guys I interviewed for my podcast, um, Alvin Guzzi Hines, he's going to be fighting on the main card. Nice left by Compet, right by Compet. Kong Chai answered with a few shots as well. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Oops, all right. 
Come on, you should be on all the time that the guy enjoys events and off night. No, I think they are. They're just asking because JC and Zionist, they're our like resident one championship super fans. What's up, JL? JL, you missed the Calgary boy with one freaking arm, dude. He put on an incredible performance. Unanimous decision victory. And he trains out of uh, the same Calgary Muay Thai gym that Matthew Rempart trains Muay Thai out of the National Hockey League player for the New York Rangers. One minute and 42 seconds on the clock. Good to see you, JL. How are you this morning? Nice right hand by Kong Chai. Right elbow by Compat in the clinch there. Way better round by Kong Chai, but Compat's still winning, in my opinion. Still taking this round. They're trading now. I'm just tired. And a throwdown by Compat. Yeah, it is early, JL. It's still early. Do you got? Do you have a wait? You, is your semester done, or are you just working today? They're trading WrestleMania over Allen versus Curtis, Minnesota Wild poutine and beers at Tom Reed's over Allen versus Curtis. Fifty-five seconds on the clock here. High kick again by Compet, swing and a miss by Kong Chai. Dude, Compet looks fucking dialed, bro. Timing, range, power. And obviously familiarity as he's beaten Kong Chai before. Kong Chai's only loss in one championship has come to Compet. Oh my god. Kong Chai trying to pressure Compet into the corner there and landing some huge knees on the back foot is Compet. Final 25 seconds on the clock. Do more Thai fighters retire early compared to MMA fighters? Um, so I think on average, yes. Just because like by the time they're 21, 23 years old, some of them already have almost over 100 fights. I pity the people who didn't buy this pay-per-view. Jay always tired all the time. It's over on Tuesday. Final stretch. Final stretch. As always, man, I, I respect the grind working and going to school. That's what I did when I was in college. That is it for the second round. I imagine you have a better work ethic than me as well. And also doing wrestling. So, uh, good luck on, all, on any exams and final projects you have, my dude. I'm a resident one fan because I can't watch other big promotions for free. Uh, dude, there are times I can't sleep and see you on Whisper streaming like 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. That is true. And I think tomorrow night's going to be one of them. After I come back uh, after I come back from the bar and the hockey game, because I'm going to an NHL game tomorrow night, I'll probably fire up whatever's left of UFC. And then we're going to stream all night. Deep Impact. That's right. Deep is a Japanese promotion uh, that has the same rules as Ryzen. No, uh, I'm a BC Lions fan. Long live the CFL. <laughs> no, I, dude, I cover the Minnesota Wild for a hockey podcast that I do and a hockey YouTube channel. If you guys want to check it out, it's called the Soda Pod. Third and final round. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I moved to Minnesota too, to be able to cover this team from the ground here and go to events, go to games. I'll catch up on some of the comments after this round, guys. But no, I mean, I'll watch the Vikings because a lot of my friends are Vikings fans. And I'll, and I'll watch any sport. So I watch NFL football, but CFL, motherfuckers. Two minutes and 31 seconds on the clock. Three down football reign supreme. <laughs> oh, I can't even keep a straight face. Two minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Uh, I see some more comments coming in here. Like I said, guys, I'm going to get to them after this fight because this is a... Might be a banger of a third round as Kong Chai has to throw everything in the kitchen sink at Compet if he wants to win back this fight. Oh, nice step back left by Compet. Clinching is Compet right now. Compet, you can tell he wants to land that left elbow. Good defense by Kong Chai, keeping that high clinch. Better than a Bears fan. <laughs> Lions. Over Tigers, over Bears. Oh my. One minute and 46. That was horrible, by the way. Left by Kong Chai. Man, just since the first round, Kompet has had his timing, range, and he has the power advantage. Where Kong Chai just hasn't been able to put any of those three together yet. He's got the dog in him. I'll give him that because they're trading now in the pocket. 
But Kong Shai just hasn't really able to hasn't been able to land really anything clean here, even as they throw in the pocket man. It is Compet who is landing. Kong Chai is not landing anything here. Nice body kick by Compet. Compet with the right hand. Kong Chai finally lands the left. Kong Chai with the right. Maybe Compet's slowing down a little bit. Oh my goodness, Kong Chai finally lands a big shot there. Finally puts Compet on the back foot up against the ropes, and it looked like he was a little wobbly there. 54 seconds on the clock. 45 seconds. Again, sorry I'm missing some of your comments here, guys. I'll get right back to them after this fight. This shit's crazy. 40, or 35 seconds. Kong Chai with the body shot. Right hand by Compet. Kong Chai, he can sense it. All he needs is that one big shot. He hasn't been able to land it all fight, and it looks like Compet, I mean, his gas tank is running low. Kong Chai definitely looks more fresh despite taking more damage in this fight. Body kick by Compet. Body kick by Kong Chai. Final 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. And Kong Chai is just going to throw. Kong Chai with the right. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. All right. Uh, Pluto and Cadillac Rainbow on the way. With Blueberry Haze Cart. Uh, be late for your birthday, but better than never. Oh, dude, seriously, I appreciate it. And like I said, I'm I'm gonna hit you back up as soon as I can. Don't you worry. Um, thank you, denial. Seriously, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> Vin Jonesen, better than a Bears fan. Not gonna lie, I watched the ASMR shave video. I don't have white people hair, but does it usually take that long? Um, it depends what, so that barber shot, and thank you for watching it, by the way. A lot of people seem to like that video. There's a, there's, there's a weird, like, there's a weird market for ASMR, not market, I guess there's a weird, what's the word I'm looking for? Lane, uh, group genre of fans who like the ASMR shit. Um, especially the, the barber shop stuff. So, so Colby, the barber, that's Kyle's little brother. And, uh, and that's like, it's more of a high end barbershop. Um, so with like the hot shave and everything like that, it usually takes a while. Um, and I guess just Colby takes his time. So it's more of like an, ex it's more of like an experience. Like how, you know, like how women go to that spas. You want to spar? No, I meant the spa, mate. <laughs> Darren Till, Mike Perry. Um, it, it's kind of just like you go there for an hour. You get the hot shave, you get a nice haircut, and it's more of like an experience, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm a fucking great clips, cheap ass haircut for under $20 kind of guy, or not at all, as you guys can see. But my next haircut is going to be quite expensive because I, I, I'm going full Charles Oliveira for his fight. But my mom is a hairdresser, was a hairdresser. So I was lucky growing up. I, I've only paid for like three haircuts in my entire life. But like I said, I'm fucking hippie ass motherfucker. And this is actually the shortest my hair has been in a long time. Before I went back home in November, it was like fucking down to my freaking elbow. Uh, plus, but, but again, Jill, thank you so much for watching the video. I know Kyle's going to be posting more of them. Um, plus, being there before one championship becomes so big is amazing to be a part of. And by the way, a combat wins the fight. <laughs> the combat did win the fight. I still cannot believe someone in Dylan's stream used you have a job as an insult. Yeah, that, that stream got a little crazy. Uh, I took this past year off wrestling to focus on work, but now that I see I can do all three, I'm hyped to finish the last two years strong. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Do they uh, do they televise locally, like the, the U Sport Wrestling, or is it is it under U Sport? Uh, the Calgary's Calgary's team. Hey, I'm a Vikings fan. Yes, that's right. You are a Vikings fan. Skull Vikings. Uh, Riders of the Lions. Uh, Raiders <laughs> or uh, Rough Riders are the Lions, Daddy. Uh, historically so. But Wally Buono spent more time with the BC Lions than uh, the Rough Riders. By the way, JL, let me show you something quick. 
I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but uh, shout out to our boy Benjamin, uh, City Lifer, who sent me this. He also sent me one of these. Skull Vikings. Which I thought was pretty cool. Uh those car uh this card lacks KO finishes, but amazing fights. Yeah. Do you have a topology group? No, I, I don't. I don't. Um maybe I should make one one of these days. I literally just use topology as a reference, but I don't really have a group on there. Sometimes I'll make predictions, but like I don't, I don't like I have an account, but like I'm not I'm not on it like Hank in our live chat who like <laughs> takes that shit more serious than anybody, anybody I know. Did some jujitsu knock you out? That was a crazy round. I was sad that the co main got scrapped, but now I don't give a fuck about it because this card is lit. Yeah, I'm sad just because like I know John a little bit. Like I've connected with John. He jumped on the podcast. We still mess. I messaged him from time to time. Uh, I'm trying to pump his new coffee business. So I just hope that he feels better. I hope that he has a chance to. To at least fight for the title again. APC <laughs> lines come to daddy. I gotta put my instead of this fucking Capri Soft bobblehead, I should have brought Solomon Elamimium. I got a BC Lions bobblehead too. I don't know what you're saying, Zinus. Dude's name is just Shadow. Shadow Singa Mawin against Eric Heyer coming up next. Dude, I love the Thai names, man. Uh, I've had a haircut, it was a massage, hot towel. On the face, shoulder, and neck. It was awesome. It was like 40 bucks and plus $8 tip. Yeah, dude. And that's the thing about what Colby charges. Maybe it might be just a little bit more because BC, fucking British Columbia, and their inflation on everything. Um, but yeah, it's about the same. And I, I've I've never had like the full-on John's mom experience. But uh, when I go back home, I'm definitely going to A for the content so you guys can see me being shaved. <laughs> me get the ASMR full on fucking shave and beard treatment. Maybe I'll go like full like how can I say this that you that will be politically correct? I guess I don't fuck political correctness. Fuck YouTube monetizing this video. I guess I could just grow out my beard like full like Osama style and then get a nice shave and then that would probably be more uh aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I'm half brown, half white, so I can say that shit, right? Even though this lighting makes me look fucking white as snow. Yeah, maybe I grow out like one of those terrorist-looking beards. I can make those jokes. I'm brown, okay? Um, and then I get the whole uh, shave experience. But uh, I'm definitely going to uh, hook Colby up with uh, a little bit more than an $8 tip, I think. Charles, did you, did you see? I don't know if you were in the chat earlier, dude, but... Uh, the the one arm fighter Peacock he trains out of the same Muay Thai gym that Matthew Rempart does in Calgary in the off season. I'll get the Brunson bleach uh look this upcoming wrestling season. Let's go the Charles Oliveira. <laughs> no, that's awesome, dude. Hey, dude, look at this. It's a reunion up in this chat. It's not stream only use sports. Is oh okay, got you. <laughs> I remember back in 2013 in elementary school, we got to go to the Grey Cup parade. Got a scarf signed by some of the players. Sweet dude, Grey Cup's always a fun time. I've gone to one. I've gone to one. I got a new job and my hours suck now. But how you been? Blah, blah, blah. Another catch weight. Uh, also, Isha, you can only watch wrestling on Flow. Okay, I just didn't know in Canada where you can uh, where you can watch it. Make my name green so I can get back in the Discord. They booted me for being a peasant. Who booted? How, how Discord booted you? I'll get you back in there. I'll get you back in there. Um, shoot, this fight's about to be. I'll do it after this fight. Wait, how how did you get booted? I like I I think I'm the only. Am I the only one who can boot you? How do you get booted? Round one. Did you watch Pitbull's Rolly fight? Uh, I, I, I've watched highlights of it. No, that's I figured. I figured. Friendly Badger. Oh, okay. Well, then fair enough, dude. Fair enough. Fuck the Badgers. Let's go Gophers, baby. <laughs> Richard Fight Club, your friend also stream. Yep. 
No, I got you, Denial. I got you. Two minutes and 23 seconds on the clock, guys. By the way, the Irish Swede. What a mix. What a mix. Watch time, baby. I don't fucking know. I can't get the chat, though. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get it back to you. I'll get it back to you. Uh, Yeah, Eric Hare, by the way, guys. Swede and Irishman against the Shadow out of Thailand. Both of them have the funky shorts. Eric Hare... With the right hand, right to the body. Eric Kyer is 25 years of age, and he's making his debut in one championship. Shadow Singa Mawin, 24 years of age. Um, he made his debut in February, where he lost to Mamuka Usubin, a unanimous decision. So two guys relatively new to the promotion. It was a fucking awesome... F I gotta watch the whole thing. That's my thought, is I gotta, I gotta watch the whole thing. Little non-issue just saying. No, I'm just curious now, that's all. Outside low kick, body kick by the shadow. I love how they just use this moniker on screen as well. The moniker. The shadow. 55 seconds on the clock. Way less of a brawl than the, than the last fight. There you go, Denial. I just messaged it to you. 34 seconds on the clock. These dudes look massive for 126. Hold on. It's 155. My bad. My bad. Supposed to be 145, but it was a catch weight. That's my bad for put on screen like that. Nice step in left to the body by Eric Heyer. Oh! And a late knockdown in the first round. Beautiful. Was it a counter left by the shadow? Knocks down Eric Heyer, and that is it for the first round. Man! 10-8 because of the last five seconds in the knockdown? Let's go! Let's go! Every time I see an Irish fighter, my mind literally goes to, Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> but yeah, my bad, Darkster. Um, 155 pounds. Supposed to be at 145, but they're doing a little catch weight. So Harry, utilizing his left jab, good. Oh, it was an elbow. I thought it was a counter left. But it was the right. Yeah, I didn't even see that. It was so quickly. So I thought he stepped back, put his right arm up, and cracked him with the, with the left. But no, he didn't put his right arm up. He fucking cranked him with the right elbow. Hmm, that is weird. That is weird. But we good now. We good now. Two minutes and 56 seconds on the clock. High kick attempt by Shadow. Round two, by the way, guys. Body kick by Shadow. Outside low kick by Shadow. Man, it just looks like there's levels to this. Shadow smells blood left and a right. Right hand by hair. High kick by Shadow. Blocked. By hair. Massive for 126 a statement you usually don't uh usually don't think of. Oh! And hair just wobbled shadow there to count that as a knockdown too. This is huge. This is huge. Two minutes and 14 seconds. Straight left jab by shadow. Left by higher. Is it hair higher? Body kick by Shadow. Higher with the left hook. A little just when I was like, there's levels to this. He gets the knockdown. Yeah, true. I guess it was an oxymoron. I was confused. I'm like, these dudes are big as fuck. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Had to scroll up a little bit more. Well, I had to um, to make sure that we saw that banner there. 
Shadow using a good, they're doing a good job utilizing those high kicks. Oh, oh, on, on wobbly legs is higher. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. I think it's too late to rename my oldest shadow. I'm having remorse at name choice. Left and a right by shadow, right uppercut. So higher was wobbly, but. Didn't count as a knockdown. Didn't count as a standing count either. Shadow with a step in left. Man, since they both have a knockdown in this round, Shadow still could win it 10-9 based on him getting the better of higher late in the round. 44 seconds. Oh, low blow. Shadow kicked higher right in the nuts. No. Yeah, take your time, dude. Take your time. You can have your time out. Man, I don't blame any man for taking some time. <laughs> taking some time after... Uh... Cup or no cup, bro? Oh, that was straight in the dick. I right, didn't take much time at all. He's back. Knocked it out of the park with the younger one, but mom won with the oldest. 25 seconds on the clock. Oh! Oh, he's a... I thought he was out there for a second. He looked dead for a moment. Left and a right by Shadow. Higher game back up to his feet. He's on them wobbly legs. He's still a little wobbly, but refs can allow him to continue. Good job by the ref. This is one of the best refs in one championship right now, guys. Final 15 seconds of this second round. Two knockdowns in this round by Shadow. And one by higher, but Shadow with the late surge again, and he's going to take this round, man. What a shot indeed. What a shot indeed. Reincarnated instantly, right? Hey, what's up, GCN picks? Just stopping by to say hi. Happy Friday, everyone. Hey, happy Friday to you, sir. Hope you're sipping on some good coffee this morning. GCM picks, you got to go back and watch that Canadian one arm or one handed fighter. He put on an absolute clinic. This card does not disappoint, worth every cent. The fights have been awesome. Not a lot of knockouts. Well, there hasn't been a single knockout yet, but there's been some knockdowns, and the fights have been absolute bangers, man. All right, round three. Yeah, dude, it's one of the free ones, too. It's one of the free ones, too. He used his nubbin in the clinch as a strike, bro. So much so he, he cut it up a little bit. Really cool moment to see him, like, address the crowd, thank his family. God. Everybody. It was really wholesome and cool to see. Two minutes and 35 seconds on the clock. Your typical wholesome fighter speech, but in his case, it just had a little bit more weight to it. So, ooh, spinning elbow attempt there by higher. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. But yeah, great to see you, GCM picks. Imagine training your whole life and, and beyond. Think you're badass. A motherfucker with one arm uh, bears your ass. And oh, another knockdown by Shadow. It is all over, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the same blood. He's too wobbly. The ref let him go last time. It is all over. Hell of a fight. Shadow is pretty mean. He's mean and he recovered quickly from him being knocked down in that second round. Fun fight there. And there's our first knockout of the card. Or first TKO, I should say, of the card, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good fight. That was a good fight, man. That was a good fight by both of these guys. Beautiful high kick. Beautiful high kick. And even though... So that's what first wobbled him and then the second one. So yeah, the first high kick there, he blocked and it kind of wobbled him. But that second one was shin to dome. Shadow Realm, whole new meaning. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
You cannot send a shadow to its own realm so far. I <laughs> comment of the night because this is the day, but it's comment of the day. The high kick shades of Dustin versus Justin too. Yes, yes. Don't you mean that kick that hit the back of the head like MMA Joey suggested? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, getting his uh, first win in one championship. He's a moldy shadow. He's only 23. Molded by it. Wow. All right, so now he's just being interviewed. He's saying, um, the first time you knocked him down, are you surprised he kept getting it? Or you kept knocking him down, were you surprised he kept getting up? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> molded by it. He's a moldy shadow. Molded by it. I don't I don't know if that's a good Bane voice or not. Don't bring that up. I just got over it. Dude, Lynch's live hate of Joey's a funny saga. And he got the bonus. Bro, this is a pay-per-view, so he better have gotten some you better have gotten more than bot. Let's just say that. Shadow kick is more impactful than super leg, I guess, but super leg kicks more faster than shadow. I don't know. Do you see Takeru's uh, leg? I disagree with everything he says, but also like his content. James is too nice for his own good, though. I tend to grind his gears in his live chat at times myself. I'm calling my son Moldy Shadow later. <laughs> no, I like James. He's definitely like on the more professional side of things, right? He's like a journalist YouTuber who hangs out with the live chat, with his live chat and sp speed runs questions. And I, I love some of his just like one word, like to the point, sometimes based uh, answers. Yeah, I'm hoping to be able to interview James uh, eventually. He went to high school on Vancouver Island, too. So, I mean, we're basically brothers. <laughs> wow. What a fight there, guys. What a fight. Again, appreciate every, every single one of you joining. We've got a ton of fights left on this card. I guess that was the last one of the free fights. So now we go to the pay-per-view. Uh, yes, Takeru's leg is turning red by his own blood, but Super Leg never knocked down Takeru. That is true. That is true. I'm not sure the Shadow could knock down T Well, I mean, this is Muay Thai, so it is different. That's my goal the whole time, is to get more than a word or two. I look to provide uh, common fa or cannon fodder. I love it. I love it. Every now and then he'll bite on something though and go off. Kind of like me, I think uh I think James like he he really just like wants to read every every chat. I get overwhelmed with it, especially when I'm doing fight companions. If we were just doing straight up live streams, it'd be a little bit different. Just like chatting with the live chat streams. Um but yeah, doing fight companions is tough because you have especially if there's fights with good pacing, uh you have uh you don't. You only have windows to get get through all the chat. And like last night, it was crazy. I think we had like consistently like 40, 50 pe people in the chat during the fight companion, and you guys were chatty, which is awesome. Like I'm not complaining in the slightest. It was fucking awesome. Just bought the pay per view. Cup of Joe brewing, and the plug is inbound. Life is good. Let's go, bro. I got the plug inbound too. Let's fucking go. Shadow kick hard, but super leg kick more and faster. Hope they meet someday. Watch his last one. I had him going for an hour. I keep spelling shit wrong and he was going insane. Oh, man. I can totally see that. I can totally see that. 
Oh, that is awesome. All right, guys, pay-per-view starts now. And again, I'm very grateful. I mean, I shouldn't say very grateful. I'm somewhat grateful that one championship lowered the price of this pay-per-view because that fucking 120 or 168 was a farce. It was a highway robbery. At least this one, you know, didn't cost more than this one cost as much as Ryzen. We made amends at the end and made sure to be the first real comment respectfully. Nice, nice. It's the little things in life. Caffeine, THC, and violence makes it all worth it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Though I love my craft beer, as I have, like I said, I have a craft beer and hockey podcast. Um, though I love my craft beer, I will definitely say that uh, cannabis is my poison of choice. <laughs> Uh, let me just the soda pod. Yeah, and if you guys dig my vibe, wait, what the hell is this? Sorry, I got distracted. Um, if you dig my vibe, you want to see some of the other content that I produce on YouTube. Here's my second channel. I saw VR poker player rage baiting his table by talking about card counting and poker. So funny. I love it. I love it. Man, the main event of the evening is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, so I haven't seen these two commentators much in one championship. Got on the far right, or I guess far left. He's a he's a former kickboxer. I don't know who the guy is in the middle. Then obviously we've got Chilson, the regular. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, there's been a, a wave of viewers here now that the pay-per-view has started. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to get your comments and Don't forget to vote in the poll question too. What's the worst way to lose your belt in one championship? A botch slam Jared Brooks style or hydration test? Like our boy, John DeBella. And let's set the like goal at 30 likes. There's 30 of you in the live chat right now. If every single one of you smash that like button, boom. We'll hit it. We'll hit it. Speaking of a little caffeine, I'm, I'm a straight-up caffeine addict. I'm going to refill my coffee cup. I'm going to be back here on the other side. Do not go anywhere. Main card. One Friday fights 58 on the other side. Super Bone, Gregorian. In the main event, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Back here, two minutes on the other side. Yes, if you want to become a member to the channel, you get lifetime access to our Discord. Even if you're just a member for one month, you always hang out. You always be able to hang out with the, the City Life crew in the Discord. And it's, we just, we just share memes, talk about fights. I mean, we're, we're pretty tame as far as like gaming discords, as far as, you know, sports discords go. But, uh, I mean, denial can denial's the king of the memes, the king of the gifts. Anyways, next fight. Fighters are making their walkout. So, literally, I'm just going to take two minutes, grab some coffee, be right back on the other side. Let's go. We are back live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. And again, main card has begun the pay-per-view. Unfortunately, one championship now, especially for Friday fights. Charging us for pay-per-views, but it, it has it wasn't as expensive as the the last numbered card. So there you go. There you go. Hey, what's up, MMA Locksmith? Rolling a perfect sweep so far. Good to see you. City Life, yes, yeah, City Life. Joshua wins this. So glad there's so many Thai stream streamers streams the main card. 
out of boy Zionist, out of boy. Yeah, it's tough here in, in North America. But like I said, whenever I stream, I just I just buy the pay per views anyways. I I'd hate for it to crap out while I'm calling the fight. And for those of you who aren't watching, you know it would suck if I if I can't give you any uh, play by play or anything that's going on as well. If if that's what you are here for. Now I know most of you guys are watching, hanging back, relaxing. Listen to me babble on as we interact. But I mean, that's kind of the vibe I've always wanted here on uh, these streams. It's like if we were at a bar, you know, watching uh, watching sports together or, or hanging out with the boys in the man cave, <laughs> watching fights. That's kind of the vibe here. We're all sipping on coffee this morning. Some of you DJs might be already cracking the beers. I know Idaho has been, Idaho's eating pizza. Not in North America, Zionus. It's it's tough, man. Here, it's tough. All right, the next two fighters are making their walkout now. We have uh Jousuya. I watched that one. Sor de Chapan against Kong Thorani Sor So Mai. Sor So Mai. He is 27 years of age. He is seven and one in one championship, and he is on a freaking seven fight win streak. Oh my goodness. Three KO TKOs as well. Um, hasn't faced the best competition. I would say Kabutov at one Friday Fights 31 was probably one, one of the best guys he's taken on. Looking at his opponent, uh, De Chapan. He's 22 years of age. He is 3-1 and one in one championship, but he's on a two-fight win streak right now. He beat Boy uh, Banga. What a what a name, Boy Banga. And Paidong Kiatsung Grit. Kiatsung Grit's pretty good, and he uh, knocked out Kiatsung Grit. Unanimous decision in his last fight. He's got two KOT KOs and one... Majority decision win in the promotion. I'm gonna go with the young. I'm gonna go with the young guy for this one. As I make a prediction, I'm gonna go with the uh, to chop in. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Oh, really? Really, Zionist? Yeah, I know people are having a hard time with one uh, championship, one sixty eight. All right, fighters are making their walkouts now. They will. Be entering the cage here shortly. And then we get to start off this main card. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't already, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And subscribe to the channel. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and most importantly, live interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. Vote in the poll question. Shoot us a comment. Like the video. And stick around for some play-by-play. -play. All right. And here we go. Here we go. To chop on now entering the ring now. They'll be announced momentarily. And then we have a fight. Again, I'll be covering this play-by-play -play commentary. You'll see my reaction. And uh, I'll try to take as many comments as I can while the fights are going on. But for the most part, I will read your comments in between rounds and in between fights. So if you got any predictions for this one, if you got any thoughts on this one coming up, get them in the live chat right now. Big shout out to all the new viewers who are joining us now. Like I said, we do live play-by-play -play commentary here. We do Fight Companions all weekend. Excited to, got, excited to have you guys here for this main card one championship. Friday fights 58 Superbon versus Gregorian. All right. Fighters now being announced in the cage. Sorry, in the ring. Oh my God. Uh, Kong Thorani, 67 wins, 15 losses in his Muay Thai kickboxing career. Both these guys out of Thailand. Catch weight of 134 pounds. I wonder if they were going to fight at like 125 originally. Uh, Joshua, uh, 55 wins, 20 losses. But he has been better in one championship.
I like Shadow very much. Dude, Shadow was awesome. What a tremendous performance. Good to see you, uh, Gapa. Is that how I pronounce your name? All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one is upon us. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Let's get it on. Let's get Uh, these guys are looking for that $100,000 contract, baby. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Nice low kick. A little too low, perhaps, by Kong Thrani. What's up, Fishing with H? Good to see you, buddy. Good morning. Body kick by Kong Thrani. High kick by Josh Joshua. Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. High kick attempt by Kong Thurani, but Joshua was stepping in to throw that right, so they kind of neutralized each other. Each of them throw a kick. Remember that inside low kick is Joshua. Inside low kick lands that one by Joshua. Left, right, and a high kick by Kong Thurani. What's up, Irish? I'm a new viewer. <laughs> One minute and 53 seconds on the clock. High kick by Kong Thurani. High kick by Kong Thurani again. Ooh, a nice left by Joshua. Kong Thurani's looking for that high kick. Joshua has done a good job so far blocking it. One minute and 21 seconds on the clock in this first round. Nice left by Kong Thurani. Body kick by Kong Thurani. Counter left by Kong Thurani. Nice head movement there by Kong Thurani. Literally going full Neo from the Matrix, dodging that high kick by Joshua. Uh, Optus Rubber Goose Green Moose Guava Juice the IV. Hello, my friend. Mr. Grant Gregory told me about you. Where do you watch 1FC? This one, unfortunately, is a pay-per-view. The main card for this one's unfortunately a paper, but where where are you from? Where are you from, uh, Rubber Goose Green Moose? Love the name, by the way. Uh, where are you from? It might be in the UK. I'm pretty sure it's on Sky Sports. Do you enjoy your stream? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy hanging out with you guys, watching fights. Thank you so much. Obtuse Rubber Goose Green Moose Guava Juice, the IV. Let's go. What a name. What a name. That's it for the first round. Close first round, guys. Close first round. I guess Kong Thurani, like, he threw more. He landed more, so he's probably going to get that. Yeah, I just still can't get over your name. That's like, um, Majig Fig Stig. Yeah, the left. We're just seeing some of the highlights here from that first round. Kong Thurani definitely won that. <laughs> now that we look at these highlights and exactly like how clean some of these shots landed, yeah, for sure he won that. You're from Uzbekistan? No way, that's so awesome, man. Dude, I imagine if you want to watch this, you're going to have to buy the pay-per-view, dude. That's what I did. I don't know how much money it costs in your region, but it wasn't too expensive. It wasn't too expensive. Dude, shout out to our homie all the way from Uzbekistan hanging out with us. That's amazing. Somewhere there's a Chinese purple snake, large fries, chocolate shake. Somewhere. Beautiful knockdown by Joshua right off the bat. Third, not even 30 seconds in. Oh my goodness. Oh, and another right by Joshua. Dude, hits hard, man. Spinning back fist after throwing some big knees. And Joshua with the right hand. Joshua is looking for the kill. Joshua with the high kick. 
Ponsarani, he's still seeing he's still seeing the Tweety Birds, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 19 seconds. Push kick by Joshua. <laughs> Best landlocked country on earth. Love the national pride, my man. Kong Durrani now pushing forward. Starting to shake the cobwebs. Is he still employing some decent head movement here? But Joshua was draining the gas tank after that. Knockdown. Still looks like he's good, though. Still looks like he's good. High kick by Kong Thurani on the back foot. Joshua ripping the body here. Oh, Joshua eats a few big shots by Kong Thurani. First fight on the main card, and it's already sick. One minute and 34 seconds on the clock. Counter left by Kong Thurani. Didn't land clean. Oh, but that straight left did. What a fun... First fight on the main card here, guys. One minute, 19 seconds. Right hand by Joshua. Mother's Turkmenistan. Father is Rod Tang. If you get it, you get it, Dan. That's amazing. Great comment. Oh, that's awesome. Great comment. Good to have you here, obtuse rubber goose green moose guava juice, the IV or the fifth. Or fourth, I should say. And there's a knockdown by Kong Thurani. I thought it was IV, but the fourth. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, the big right and left by Kong Thurani. Kong Thurani, left and a right. Joshua, he's still rattled. He's still rattled. Joshua's trying to cover up. Joshua with the right hand. Joshua with another right hand. 21 seconds left in the second round. What a crazy round, ladies and gentlemen. 15 seconds on the clock. Straight right jab by Kong Tarani. But obtuse uh, rubber goose. I haven't seen Mr. Grant Gregory for a while. He's been super busy. I've been watching his podcast every Wednesday. But uh, if you jump in his live stream before I do, tell him I say hey. Tell him I miss him. And that is it for the... Freaking second round, ladies and gentlemen. That second round really could go either way. They each got a knockdown. So this third round is huge. More so for Joshua, as I think he lost the first round. Second round could literally be... I mean, fuck, it could be a draw. It's so close. That's That second round, as far as like scorecards go. Obviously, there's there's no draws in... One championship kickboxing in Muay Thai. He got sick. I'll have to send him a message and tell him to feel that it, uh, to feel better. We talk on uh, on Twitter. Very fun indeed. It's a song from a cartoon. Unlocked a memory from when I was a kid. Oh, really? I'll message him and tell him to feel better. Yeah, Mr. Grant Gregory, huge supporter of this channel. All right, round three, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, don't blink indeed. Again, appreciate every single one of you in the live chat. You guys are awesome. Oh, nice step back left. Uppercut by Kong Durrani. <laughs> Fishing with H. Two minutes and 41 seconds. You did. You did. <laughs> Two minutes and 32 seconds. Joshua with the high kick. Kong Durrani was looking to make him pay. Oh, beautiful high kick again by Kong Durrani. Then he lands a left. That hurt Joshua. But Joshua, he's got a chin, man. I know he's knocked down once in this fight already, but he's got a chin. He's taking some big shots. Step back right hand by Kong Durrani. Right by Kong Durrani. Left by Kong Durrani. Dude, Kong Durrani. Who wants this more, ladies and gentlemen? Who wants this more? Two minutes on the clock. Oh, man. Kong Thurani's head movement is beautiful. Ducked out of the way of that head kick and smart by Joshua to follow through that spinning elbow, but didn't land it. Instead, he tripped himself up. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Knee to the body by Kong Thurani. What a third round. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! 
High kick by Kong Tarani. Joshua or Joshua is that how you pronounce the name? Regardless. Late surge here. One minute and 16 seconds. And honestly, he has to throw everything in the kitchen sink at Kong Tarani. If he has any chance of winning this one. Uh, oh, what's up? Isha's in her uh, kicking a man when he's down toxicity. I'm, uh, I'm not afraid. It's just my gimmick, but uh, I will be cutting my hair shorter soon and I'll, I'll give you the full, the full view, my man. Oh, shoot. My alarm's going off. One sec, one sec. Oh. Actually, it's not even really a gimmick. I just, I'm just a hat guy. If I, I'd like, I wear hats, toques. That's just my thing. 30 seconds on the clock. I think you're Walter White. <laughs> 16 seconds on the clock. What's up, Andrew? Kong Thorani, in my opinion, is going to win this fight. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. What a freaking fight. Yes, a took. Absolute war. So first round, Kong Thorani wins 10-8, in my opinion. Second round, each of them landed a knockdown. I will give it to Joshua, uh, Josh, Joshua. Sorry if I mispronounced his name. I think he won the second round, then third round. I think Kong Thirani won. Because each of them got a knockdown in the second round, but he did more damage overall. He landed more strikes overall. Third round, neither of them was knocked down, but Kong Thirani in the first two minutes landed the better shots, in my opinion. But I ain't a judge. My opinion doesn't matter. Let's see how they score this. All right, we're listening in for the official decision. Unanimous. Yeah, Kong Durani, he wins unanimous decision. It was the right decision. It was the right decision. Good can fight, though, guys. Great fight. Only one TKO so far on this card. But, like, the fights have been absolute bangers. The fights have been absolute bangers. I was going to say, you can't really ask for much more other than some knockouts or some more TKOs. Which, like, the last few weeks that I've uh, missed these streams, there have been so many of them. But, hey, at least the fights are delivering. At least the fights are delivering. Um, is Mr. Grant live right now? Completely honest reactions. Uh, Mr. Grant gave you a shout out on his GC streams prayers. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Cause you're not the first one who's come over here from Mr. Grant's stream. Who won the last fight? Uh, the last one was, um, shadow. And he sent Eric Hare to the shadow realm. I didn't knock him out clean, but shadow won the last one. Is Mr. Grant Gregory live right now on, on YouTube or is he on a different platform right now? No, it's finished. Oh, okay, okay. I'll send him a message. I'm going to send him a message thanking him for sending you guys over. Yeah, Mr. Grant's awesome. Mr. Grant found my channel looking for a one championship uh, fight companion. So. Hey, there we go. He got the contract. He got the contract. But uh, really appreciate you completely honest reactions. Yeah, Mr. Grant's a huge supporter of this channel. Mr. Grant is a fellow fight junkie, much like myself. One championship lover, but Shotry haters. Let's go. 
I'm literally messaging him right now on Twitter. I'm saying, Mr. Grant, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. Thank you for sending some some people over and shouting me out. I just sent Mr. Grant a note. It was his health stream prayers for him. Yeah, I heard he's sick, so I just I just sent him uh I just sent him a note, wish him the best. Uh JC Kong Torani won that one. Kong Torani $100,000 contract. Let's go. Good to see you, MMA Locksmith. We had completely honest reactions here. Man, this is great. Andrew. My inner toxicity has joined the chat as well. Yeah, de denial. I, I have no idea where to find this, honestly, brother. This one's you. I, I know um, the Amazon one is available on the normal ones, but this one isn't. Um, uh, if No Chill is active in the Discord, maybe ask him. He's usually good for. He's our resident Sherlock Holmes. But no, I, I would have shared it already if I knew, buddy. I, I promise. Superlek, Superbond, and Stamp are the best of one. My guy! Exactly that. Superlek is like one of my favorite fighters in all combat sports. I, I, I love Superlek. Stamp, awesome as well. And Superbond, man. I also love Pumpayak. I just need Shashu to free him. It's all they're doing the night card, not this one. They usually, you can, uh, yeah, usually you can figure it myself. Kind of stumped. Yeah, if anyone can help out denial here in the live chat, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you, uh, if you know a spot, um, who was it? Zionist said that like they all, they all shut down pretty quickly, rise in style before, uh, before one of the fights. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next two fighters are making their walkout now. We got Nakrob Fairtex again against Mungtai Senchai. Fairtex versus Senchai. Both of these guys, absolute killers, ladies and gentlemen. Mungtai, let's take a look at some. The elbow zombie, Mungtai. And he is just that, ladies and gentlemen. 30 years of age. Uh, he is 7 and 3 in one championship. Uh, one KOTKO, four unanimous decisions, two split decisions. But in that one KOTKO, he absolutely elbowed the fuck out of his opponent. And it was Kulab Dam at one Friday Fights 9. His only two losses in the promotion, um, or three losses, I guess, but for some reason, one's the, the website's not showing one of them. But his re most recent two losses have come to Nabil and Nick Carrillo. A uh, Nakrob Fairtex on the other hand, 25 years of age. He's on a two fight win streak right now. Also lost to Nabil, someone who's super like made easy work of. And uh, yeah, he's six and one in the promotion, one KO, two KO, or one KO, two KO, and three unanimous decision. Oh my God, Mr. Grant. Oh my God, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Member renewal for 14 months. <laughs> I get a message from you, so I tune in to be cheering about Super Lek. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't bring it up. I didn't bring up your homie brought it up. Your homie brought it up. Oh, that's so ironic. Hey, Mr. Grant, I heard that you've been under the weather, my man. Um, I hope that you feel better and uh let's catch up soon, man. Let's catch up soon. I get a message from you, so I tune in. And I see you cheering about Super Lake Classic Isha. Love your brother. If I can, we got to stream uh, UFC 300 picks. Yes, let's do it, man. Um, and again, uh, sending best vibes over your way. Hope you feel better, sir. Thank you so much for re-upping your membership, my man. As always, you're a huge supporter of this channel. And it's, it's great. It's great that we connected through one championship. We bonded over violence and our hate for Shock Tree. It's a beautiful thing. 
Funny how the foreign orgs do better than UFC is stopping pirating it. Dana does so much complaining about it. Hard not to root for the elbow zombie. Uh, deciding paper. Good to see you. So glad that uh, Kong Thirani finally gets his contract. Again, big shout out to Mr. Grant Gregory. Uh, also, I'm convinced Nico's on steroids. Just look at that dude. Oh, yes. I, I am convinced as well. I'm convinced as well. Sure, you didn't. Uh, Ken Lim, I bought the pay-per-view. No way. The man, the myth, the legend has arrived, Mr. Grant Gregory. By the way, guys, go support Mr. Grant Gregory's YouTube channel. It's been skyrocketing as of late. He's been doing some great work there. Didn't hate Shot Tree, but do now. I guess our, we originally just bonded over violence, but but uh, that that one uh, after one one sixty eight, um, I feel like our friendship grew. We bonded a little bit more watching the press conference and just fucking going full unhinged sports fan. Like, why the fuck do you have to pay for these big Lupini shows that used to be free? I know I hate it, dude. Trust me, I hate it. Luckily, this one wasn't as expensive as the last Super Bowl headliner. That one was like 50 bucks USD. This one was this one was a measly rise in price of 25 USD. I think Shotri is starting to feel uh starting to be feeling that uh, big debt. Starting to starting to really uh realize that we can't keep operating at a loss every year and we probably have to start making a little bit of money here. Also, Shotri tore into Bular after the Ali Akbari fight. And you know what? In that case, fair enough. I actually was kind of chuckling. <laughs> what happened at 168? Oh, I mean, just... Shotri just ripping on the Japanese. Um, it, it was just, I don't know. Going full Dana White as far as, you know, telling us that like, oh, we have the best numbers here and there. Just like Dana White said with Slap League. It was just kind of like a cringy post card press conference. And uh, Mr. Grant Gregory and I stayed on stream together. And we're just tearing into him. Yeah, dude, exactly. Exactly. Exactly that. Don't get me wrong. I too hate Shaw Tree, but that was hilarious. It was. Yeah. Boulard deserves every, not, not, I guess, the hate, but he deserves all the criticism for that performance. Bonus, uh, 360,000 baht. Let's go. Yeah, I, ha I hate Boulard as well. He, at one point, said Japanese fighters come to one and get crushed. He lied and made up stuff. Yep. It was totally 168 because it was in Japan. And Super Lex sitting next to him, just like, oh man, why, why did you drag me out here? Now, now any any of the few Japanese kickboxing fans who liked me hate me. Dude, the elbow zombie, 204 wins, 45 losses. I repeat, 204 wins, 45 losses. Unbelievable. Deciding paper, by the way, it's great to have you here. Same with Gapa. Completely honest reaction. Mr. Grand, of course. Uh, obtuse rubber goose. Everyone in the live chat here. Denial. MMA locksmith. JC, as always. Fishing with H. Dark Star. Of course, Cheddar, the Irish animal. Fishing with H. Zinus, HM. Roman the Faster. Charles Barkley, JL. Sorry if I missed anybody else. You guys are all fucking amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. This one should be an absolute banger. Two more. Uh, two veterans. Two more experienced guys going out of here. No 21-year-old, 22-year-olds. What's up, main card minute? Great to see you, buddy. Guys, main card minute has been doing awesome work on his channel as well. Go check him out. One is fucked. You have the one guy who KO DJ and you do nothing. That's true. And he's even calling out one championship right now. And there was their former middleweight champion ripping up the one shirt now that he's a free agent. I'm okay with the pay-per-view for big cards along the price matches the card. Yeah, this, this price isn't that bad. Hell yeah, man. Dude, you support us. We're going to support you. And you do great work, so. Two birds stoned at once. Two minutes in, 11 seconds on the clock. 
Not that Mr. Grant's channel needs any pumping up from here from us anyways, but I'm always going to say go support Mr. Grant Gregory and his booming channel. He beat the best. One minute and 56. Wait, he beat Rose Namajunas? I'm the best. I'm the best. Disgrace to mixed martial arts. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock. They're clinching. You had an earthquake? Dude, I hope I hope everything's good. I hope, I hope you're all right. Mild earthquake, I'm guessing. Back home on Vancouver Island, we, we used to get the small ones all the time. That's why one's matchmaking sucks because they forget other fighters. A lot of clinch fighting here. Knees, elbows, one minute and 24 seconds on the clock in this first round. Ref separates him. Easily the best uh, Muay Thai slash kickboxing ref in one championship right now. I keep forgetting his name. Step in left elbow by Mong Thai. Nakrob with a few right hands. One minute on the clock. Right elbow by Nakrob. Body kick by Nakrob. It was a 5.5 on the Richter scale. Biggest I've ever felt. My house was shaking, but no damage, thankfully. Glad no damage. Glad you're, you're okay. But yeah, it is, it is a little eerie when everything starts to shake. I remember back home, my bobbleheads would be the first one, and I'd be like, oh my god, what is happening? 36 seconds on the clock. Pretty close thus far. Pretty close thus far. I will definitely keep you more updated here, Andrew. My apologies. I'm reading the chat a little bit. Very, very close so far. Because there's been a lot of clinch fighting. So the first round, I mean, 22 seconds left in the first round. Could go either way. Nakrob looking a little bit better towards the end of the first round. But we shall see how the second and third play out. And I will keep you updated, Andrew, my guy. Thank you so much for joining. Left elbow by Mung Thai. And a right elbow by Nakrob. And that is it for the first round. Close first round could go either way. Let's see how the second and third plays out. But yeah, I like the broadcast that Nakrob did out, did come out in that first round and, and make a statement. Pretty much show Mung Thai that like, I ain't scared of your elbows. I'll throw some elbows too. Big knees by Mung Thai in the clinch. I, even looking at some of these big shots in the replay, yeah, it could go either way, man. It could go either way that first round. But Nakrob did land some big elbows in the clinch towards the end there. And clean elbows as well. But he'll take more than that to take down the elbow zombie. All right, round two coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you ever, never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat round two. Nice checking of the body kick by Mung Thai. Mung Thai with the body kick of his own. Mung Thai with the left and the left elbow. Didn't land clean. Two minutes and 41 seconds to left and a right by Nakrob. Monk died with the straight right. Monk died with the high kick. Monk died with the push kick. Tried to catch it and land a right of his own was Nakrob. Swing and a miss. Nakrob trying to finish that combo with the left hook. Doesn't land. Monk died going in for the clinch here. Ref separates. Two minutes and 21 seconds. Nice right hand by Nakrob. Nope. Nope. Still, uh, still a few more fights till he's he's uh, gonna be fighting, my dude. Two minutes on the clock. Three more fights until he's on. Three more fights until he's on. One minute fifty-seven seconds on the clock. They're clinching again here. Ref separates. Monk die. Trying to walk Nakrob down, bro. Hard to wish for one success if, if their management sucks. We'll always root for the fighters in the fights. Mr. Grant, thank you for the $5, man. You didn't, your membership. you didn't have to do that. You guys are far too kind, man. Mr. Grant, you do enough to support the channel, dude. You don't have to be donating. I swear to God. One minute and 23 seconds on the clock. I'll read your comment here in a sec. One minute and 19 seconds on the clock. 
Nice right to the body by Nakrub. Monk Dai eating some big shots here in the final minute, kind of like that first round. Straight right by Nakrub. Another left by Nakrub. Monk Dai with the right. Nakrub with the right. We got a scrap here, ladies and gentlemen. Final minute. Monk Dai is eating some big shots by Nakrub here. 51 seconds on the clock. And guys, these guys competing for that contract. Straight left by Monk Thai. Right by Monk Thai. 35 seconds on the clock. Again, really appreciate it, Mr. Grant. And I'll show you some love and, uh, and get to your comment here in a sec. 28 seconds on the clock. Ref separates. Twenty seconds, stepping right elbow by Nakrub. It's close, Andrew. It's close. It could be either one round apiece or two for Nakrub. Oh, but Nakrub might be winning back the second round. It's a, it's a close fight, man. And that is it for the second round, Mr. Grant. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you putting a motherfucking. I'm a simple man. I want UFC triple champ Henry Cejudo and one triple champ uh, <laughs> Anatoly Mal uh, Malikin MMA's first 4C champ. Oh my god. Thank you for the dono, man. Like I said, you don't have to do that. You, you go above and beyond all the time in supporting us here, man. So thank you, Mr. Grant. Really appreciate it. Mr. Grant, Cheddarhead. Seriously, guys. Thank you so much. I think Murat can pull it off. Very impressive performance last time. Yes, yes. Monk Thai wants elbow KO'd. Uh, Pe Pepen Ormung on the stadium circuit. Oh, really? Which uh, which which stadium? Oh, Monk Thai is winning. Woke up to an earthquake. Yeah, that's what uh, main card minute was saying. Pseudo ain't triple champ anymore. He was triple C because he had that Olympic gold medal. Double UFC champ in the Olympic gold medal. All right, two minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Third round here. Let's get it off. It's not like Monkta is having a bad fight, though. Like I said, it's close. It's close. Two minutes and 38 seconds on the clock. I'll keep you updated, Andrew. He never was. It was fun just saying. Oh! Nice left elbow by Monk Thai. Monk Thai's doing some good work in the clinch here now, Andrew. Two minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Nakra, but Monk Thai still looks fresh. Step back left by Nakra. Nakra's timing is just very, very good. Every shot that Nakra is throwing is seemingly landing. Two minutes on the clock. Step in right elbow by Monk Thai. I mean, Nakra's playing. Or fighting fire and fire here. As Nakrub's landing some big elbows as well, but Monk Thai is just spamming the elbows now. One minute, 53 seconds on the clock, and that's going to be a throwdown. That's going to be a throwdown. But Nakrub's starting to fade a little bit. You can see he's starting to fade a little bit. Oh, is that Lupini? Okay, that's pretty sweet. I didn't know if it was like RWS or uh, one of the other ones. I watch some of the stadium series, but I'm not like, uh, I'm definitely a casual when it comes to kickboxing and more time. I watch a lot of it, but I don't like follow um, like the news, the updates as much as I do MMA. Oh my God. New comment of the night. Either Quake or Jamal Pogues did a jumping jack. <laughs> What's up? No chill. One minute and 12 seconds. Right elbow by Nakrub. That one tagged Montai clean. I think that might've hurt him. Monk Thai might be seeing the Tweety Birds here. Another right elbow by Nakra, but Monk Thai continues to throw. Monk Thai eats a right. Just when I said that Nakra was fading, now Nakra now. One last push. 45 seconds on the clock. 42 seconds. What's up, Keep Out? Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for PFL last night as well. Monk died with the left hook. They're both tired now. Final 30 seconds. Final 30 seconds. Can't wait for Vanilla Thunder. Let's go, one. Let's go. 20 seconds. 
Straight left by Nakrub. Swinging and missing with the leg kick. 15 seconds. Come on, Monk Dai. Come on, Monk Dai. For our boy, Andrew. I will say, tremendous performance by Nakrub here. We know how good Monk Dai is, but Nakrub has looked very, very good in this end. Final seconds. Three, two, one. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The fights have delivered here today, ladies and gentlemen. I have, I think Nakrob is going to win this one. Again, I'm no fucking judge. What do I know? Other than I know the super like beat Rod Tang, but we won't get into that. I shouldn't even, I shouldn't have even brought that up. Mr. Grant's been too kind to me. And I literally have to throw, throw that at him. Sorry. That, that was just a, that was just a natural thing. I didn't, I didn't mean any harm. I didn't mean uh, to throw shade. What's up, Irish? Are you are you watching this uh, Irish animal? Losing Mung Thai. We shall see. We shall see. Firefight. Yeah, this is such a good comment. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um, I can't wait to see our boy Des Payne to fight uh, Acosta. We'll probably see him fight Pogues eventually too. Knock Rob. Bro, gonna start the super like versus Rod Tank debate again. It's not a debate when one of us is right. Are we going Cage Warriors Tommy next weekend, right? Oh, it's a split decision. One judge has it Knock Rob, one judge has it Monk Thai. Let's see. Let's see if it's uh let's see who goes to. Nakrob wins split decision. Mungta is pissed. Oh my god, Mungta is pissed. Hey, I think this was the right decision based off what I saw. I feel bad for Andrew because he betted on Mungta, but you know, Mungta did make it close. Not close enough. Nakrob beat him at his own game. Nakrob landed more elbows than the elbow zombie. Yeah, war indeed. Good fight. I can't complain, but I didn't have any money on this fight. All right. The man who yields to no one, ladies and gentlemen, the best moniker in all of combat sports. The best moniker in all of combat sports, ladies and gentlemen. Saxon, the man who yields to no one. I hope, by the way, he makes quick work of this Japanese can and that we see him fight Liam Harrison before they each hang up the gloves. That, imagine Sexen versus Liam Harrison, man. Small gloves. I know they're both longer in the tooth, but fuck, that's the fight that the people want to see. Yeah, phony. Apparently it was 5.5, but main card minute and no chill MMA. We're bringing that up in the live chat. Uh, hope you're safe. Hope nothing was uh, broken or rattled in your house. But uh, good to see you, phony. I want to see Haggerty first uh, versus Super. Like it's they're they're gonna fight. They're gonna fight. Uh, not yet, buddy. Not yet. Um, I'm pretty worried for Nongo though because Kulab Dam hits like a freight train and he's, and he's gotten three consecutive decent high level opponents in a row in one round. No, I know. I'm scared for Nongo too, man. Nongo's towards the end of his career. Oh, Mung Tha is going to get 350,000 bots. Even, even, he doesn't get the contract. He doesn't get the one championship contract, but he got 350,000 bots. See, this is why they're charging us for pay-per-view, because Shotu's giving out bot like he's Oprah Winfrey. Uh, hydration. He didn't miss weight. Hydration. And I've already... <laughs> I've already gone over this in the live chat. Seven, seven guys uh, missed hydration yesterday, or a mix of hydration and, uh, and missed weight. But yeah, so... Yeah, so John DeBell last night the 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 news broke for us. Um failed his hydration test and then was hospitalized. Um his opponent offered to fight him at a catch wake, but apparently he was like thrown up at the hospital and he's like super sick and 
couldn't uh, couldn't do it. So I got stripped from the title. Uh, three of my coaches are fighting tomorrow. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, do it up, do it up. Yeah, Haggerty for Super like scheduled for September. Yeah, no problem, uh, Ani Ben. Yeah, I feel bad for for John losing the title that way. Yeah, vote in the poll question. What's worse? What's the worst way to lose your title in one championship? A botched, um, a botched slam takedown like Jared Brooks, or failing a hydration test in Thailand? Uh, support the fighters, not the CEO. F Dana and Shatri. Prepare for tears. My whole house shook. Yeah, that's what Main Card Minute was saying. Uh, did anyone take the Mikey P parlay posted in Discord last night? Ishii, uh, Kempet, and Nakrup. Fairtex won. Two more to go for the sweep. Plus 913. Just Nongo and Super Bon left. What's up, Mikey P? <laughs> I'm, in fact, not a smart guy, Mikey P. I didn't see that you signed that. And I'm like, I literally scrolled up for days, dude. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Be good to have you there. My opinion, Shachi's worse than Dana because at least Dana will be mostly honest about what he thinks. Something where Shachi is a hypocrite. He lost by way of science. There you go. I'll concede to that. A hey, denial it, on like Twitch or something. I still think Jared lost his title in the worst way though. Yeah, guys, uh, vote in the poll question. Vote in the poll question. Let's see. Uh, let's see where we're at with the poll question too. Let's see where we're at with the poll question. Um. So right now, oh, I for some reason I can't even see it on my. I get, I always get for some reason whenever I do these streams I get signed out on my laptop I get signed on my YouTube account. But yeah, vote in the poll question. What is the worst way to lose? In one uh, uh, one championship belt, botched <laughs> Jared Brooks failed hydration. John DeBella. I guess I forgot to write botched slam there, but it is what it is. Oh, on here actually, apparently the guys, the singer wanted some subs, and he's getting his channel taken out. Oh, poor guy. Just saw denial. You the goat. His sacrifice was not in vain. Palman and Jay Streams, international specialist. Dude, Palman is awesome, man. Palman hung out with us for the entire K1 and Rise stream that we were doing. Crippled Ham, what's up, Crippled Ham? Uh, Sex and Tony Ferguson, run of the century. Nongo making it, or sorry, Sex and making his walk out now, ladies and gentlemen. And out comes Sex and the man who yields to no one. What an absolute killer, ladies and gentlemen. The man who yields to no one. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. On a crazy win streak right now in one championship. Eight and oh. One knockout. One uh, KO, TKO. Four unanimous decisions. Two split decisions in that eight fight run. Going up against Yutaro uh, uh, Ashahi, who's making his debut in one championship. Again, all, all the real homies want to see Sexton fight Liam Harrison next. So let's hope Sexton makes quick work of this guy. Well, I just noticed Nakar won a split decision. Did I get lucky? Or do you think he won? He, he won. He won. Not, not a lucky win. Should have met Nongo, got them mixed up. Ah, Japanese cry. Uh, Alba. What's up, Alba? I bought the pay-per-view, buddy. I bought the pay-per-view. I got a back of that one. gets taken down. I shared in the Discord. Oh, dude, real G. Real G. All right. Sex Sans just being looked at by the cut man right now. I love, what, a, what a beauty, man. Bowing to the cut man before entering the ring. Dude, he's such a legend, such a killer, and such a fun fighter to watch. I know, right? It's so annoying, man.
All right. Fighters are now being introduced in the ring. The mighty ring of Lupini Stadium. All right. Utaro Asahi. They're not even showing his record. He's that much of a can. Hey, that's okay. I'm all right with sex and uh, taking out this Japanese fighter in Thailand. They're not even showing his full record. All right, Sexon just being announced now, then we'll get right to the play-by-play. -play. One of C made the best card on a Friday night while make their main cards have uh, BJJ grappling as a main event. I know, yeah, so the, the, the fight night is a lot like other than ear cell there's not too much i mean if you did i, I don't mind grappling and the rotolo brothers are, are actually really good so i don't mind that but like obviously this is the better card by a long shot there's a few fights like there's that one canadian guy from lfa who trains out of elevation fight team who walks out in like the canadian tuxedo shirt or not the canadian tuxedo the the tuxedo shirt I mess with both cards. Attaboy, attaboy. I would be messing with tonight's card, but I'm going to LFA Live. I'll be there at Mystic. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, guys, go subscribe to No Chills channel if you dig MMA. Up and coming YouTube channel. Does great content as well. Yes! Ben Tynan. My man. Not the most exciting fighter, but I root for him. He got a good finish in his one debut. Let's go. Ooh, nice right hand by Asahi. Asahi, another right jab. That stung Sexen. Who is this Japanese guy? Outside low kick by Asahi. Asahi with the right and the left. Sexen. Swing and a miss with that kick and gets tagged up with that right jab again. Asahi very much employing that kickboxing style. And a left hand on the break. Bro, Asahi. He's doing good so far. Two minutes on the clock. One minute and 56 seconds. What's up, Jackson? Good to see you, buddy. Next time with the high kick, gets tagged with the right. Oh! A nice little sweep by Sexon. One minute and 37 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by Asahi. High kick by Sexon. Doesn't land. Was blocked. Asahi returns a favor. One minute, 19 seconds on the clock. Straight left by Sexon. One minute on the clock. Uh, looks like he got eye poked. Asahi took a finger to the eye. He's getting looked at right now. So a little break in action, a little break in action. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I bought the pay-per-view, Andy. But good to see you. Welcome, welcome. All right, he looks like he's good. He ain't no Chris Weidman, Bruno Silva. Thank God. All right, we're back at it. One minute left in this fight. Side kick by Asai. Step in right by Sexan. High kick by Asai. I mean, look how much bigger than Sexan he is. My goodness, 45 seconds on the clock. Sexan, nice knee, or sorry, nice uh, body kick. But not able to find his range in the striking. And now a left hand by Asai. Asai has had a beautiful first round here, utilizing that right jab. I bought the pay-per-view bundle. What's up, uh, Anthony? Good to see you. Oh, beautiful. Kick to the head there. By Asai, dude, Asai, cool and Sexton right now. Outside low kick and Sexton gets tripped up. And here I thought Yutaro Asai was a can that won championship. Was hoping Sexton would crush. 
Mikey P. Denial said, I think he had a backup in the Discord, in the members' Discord. Wow, what a first round, ladies and gentlemen. What a first round. Great first round by the Japanese fighter. I say you look good so far. Oh, attaboy, Mikey P. Attaboy. Man, he he looks really good. He looks really good. Yutaro Asai didn't get the knockdown. Uh, this pay per view is really reasonable. You can't expect to see Super Bon Gregorian for free, brother. Especially when one championship's uh losing money left, right, and center. Doesn't mean I won't try though. Yeah. <laughs> I love your honesty, Jason or Jackson. Sorry, I love your honesty, my man. I say is good at it, and good to see you, by the way, Jackson. Good to see you, my man. Both fighters had their moments. I say I think won the first round for sure. Oh, outside low kick by Sai, right and left. Sexton with the body kick. I say caught it and landed left down the middle. I see as a win over Tomohiro Kitai. Oh, really? Who beat the K1 vet Osawa? Well, there was my casual take saying that he was a can. Muay Thai, uh, Nick Newell looked pretty good. Yeah, he did, dude. Joseph, I bought the pay-per-view, buddy. My apologies. I do not have one. Right hand by Sexen. But yeah, he looked awesome. Inside low kick by Asai. I saw you complaining about a low kick. Come on. High kick by Sexton. Sexton just seems like he's a little bit slower in the striking here than Asai. And Asai lands a right and knocks down Sexton with the left. Asai lands a big right on Sexton that wobbled him and then knocked him down with the left. The man who yields to no one. Left hand by Asai. I say cornering Sexton now, and he's just pressing on the gas, throwing hooks here. Sexton trying to cover up, trying to land a counter. I say he's draining the gas tank, draining the gas tank. Big left by I say. I say with a knee on the entry, and Sexton catches and pushes him to the ground. Right hand by I say. Sexton still wobbling. But this man yields to no one, ladies and gentlemen. This man yields to no one. Left hand by Sexton. Bro's wobbly and he's still walking forward. 56 seconds on the clock. Right hand by Sexton. Swing and a miss by Sexton. Left by Sexton. Sexton wobbling but still moving forward. He's smiling. This ain't no can, dude. They better sign bro immediately if he KOs sex end somehow. Dude, he's looked tremendous in this fight. Asai has looked tremendous. High kick by sex end. But that's the thing. He might have used a lot of his gas trying to finish him. He does look a little slow, no, slower now. Left hand by Asai. Let's see how he looks in the third. 15 seconds left in the second. By the way, deciding paper, it's been awesome having you in the live chat here, man. Yeah, I saw he's starting to slow down a little bit where sex and just cannot be put out. And that is it for the second round. Oh my goodness. Oh my Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Let's see if Sexton comes back strong. I think he lost the first round. He obviously lost the second round 10-8. So, like, he needs to finish Yutaro Asai to win this fight. Sexton did land a few good high kicks, and he's been ripping the body. So, a right hand, right kick, and then left is what dropped him. Hey, I'm I'm incredibly impressed with what I've seen and what I do see from Asai, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm rooting for Sexan here. I'm rooting for Sexan here. 
Third and final round. Two minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Body kick by Sexen. That right jab by IC. All day, every day. Left hand by Asai. Kick to the body by Sexen. Sexen eats a left. Asai lands a right. Body kick by Asai. see has got pretty good head movement too here. Swing and a miss by Sexen. Knee to the body by Asai on Sexen. Almost dropped him there. I didn't have this Japanese fighter went beating sex on my bingo card. I'll tell you that much, but man, I'm impressed with this performance. Sex with the body kick again. Sex looking for that high kick. Two minutes on the clock. Sex has got two minutes to finish this. High kick by Asai. Left by Asai. Right by Sex Another right by Sex Asai making Sexen chase him here, then landing some big counters. One minute, 47 seconds on the clock here. Sexen clinches. One minute, and 38 seconds. Oh, big left hand by Asai. Dude, he's going to do it. One minute, 30 seconds. I mean, you can't count Sexen out until it's over. Oh, it looks like there might have been a little clash of heads there. Sex N on the entry, but man, I say he's been looking good. Sex N is a zombie. He is, man. He yields to no one. High kick by Asai. High kick by Sex N. Right hand by Asai. Asai with the left and the right to the body. Left to the face, right to the body. One minute on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Asai slowing down now, but still has some slick head movement. Fifty seconds on the clock. Right hand by Asai. Yeah, his footwork and head movement are, are nothing short of incredible. Body kick by Sexan. Left by Asai. Oh my god, Jamie and Eric are going to be freaking out on Twitter. Oh, and another big shot by Asai. Didn't drop Sexon completely, but that one stung him. 20 seconds. Inside low kick by Asai. Man, Asai just, he's fought such a smart fight. Final 10 seconds. Looking for like a spinning freaking heel kick now, swinging a miss. And it is all over. What a oops. There we go. What a tremendous performance by Yutaro Asai. What a fight. What a fight. I banned your other account, Irish. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. The streak is over. He took a lot of damage in this one, so I don't want him to see. I don't want him to fight Liam Harrison in like a couple of months. But that is the fight I want to see: Sexen, Liam Harrison. Maybe the last fight for both of them. I've seen enough. Give me Asai, Mr. Takeru. Yes. Oh, uh, I mean, they're not going to do that. They, they, Takeru has to fought, fight Rod Tang first. Great. What's up, Stacks Four Twenty? Great to see you. Yeah, unanimous decision. Utaro Asai wins this one. What a tremendous performance. Uh, I don't know, like half an hour ago? Not, not even? Debut in the promotion and takes out Sexen and ends his freaking 8-0 streak. Both of them are bleeding and not giving up. Ishii, would you agree? Win or lose or draw? Japanese fighters tend to have the better hands. In kickboxing and Muay Thai matchups versus their Thai counterparts. Kudos to that performance, though. He looked sharp the whole fight. The Thais definitely have the kicks. The, the Japanese definitely have the hands. So, yeah, I agree. 
Salute to Sexen, though. What a fucking gangster. He never quits. Uh, both of them were bleeding and not giving up. And here I was thinking that Dimitri Ivy would be the biggest upset of the weekend. <clears throat> no, so he... Debella didn't pass hydration test and then was hospitalized. And apparently he was getting sick in the hospital. So one championship offered him a catch weight. A catch weight and for him to, to go through the rehydration again. But he was just... He was too fucked up. And he was like throwing up and... Um, not South China Morning Post, but um, Nick Nico on Sports Tech. Now used to be a South China Morning Post. Now he's with Sports Tech. He wrote a great article about it, detailing all the issues there. Fighting FC, yes, Sexen versus Harrison. Book it. And if it's both of their retirement fights, I'm okay with that. Uh, all right. Now you're banned too. Bye. Uh, some of the Japanese uh, kickboxers or kickboxing, sorry, some the Japanese kickboxers have boxing level hands is impressive, but sometimes to their demise, like Takeru stance is uh, why his legs got chewed up. Absolutely, absolutely. Think my emails will have another fight. I do think you'll have at least one more fight. It'll be a quote unquote money fight. You know what I mean? It'll be against a big name you can sell. Science took the belt. I'll read it. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Stax, thank you for joining us, buddy. Really appreciate you guys. We do live fight companions, Muay Thai kickboxing, MMA, even some grappling and boxing every single weekend. And I appreciate every single one of you for joining us here. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction, interaction like you heard. And we stream like up to 30 hours every freaking uh, weekend, man, covering this beautiful sport. And I am fucking terrified for this next one, man. Nongo's an absolute legend, but he has not been the same as of late. And Kulab Dam is a motherfucker, dude. Uh, I saw you fast punches. Yeah, man. Sex and versus Nongo versus Tony Ferguson with Mario Yamazaki as ref in Fight Circus. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. I knowingly. Uh. Says he has three left for only or Mighty Mouse says he has three left for only money or legacy. He wants names, but can he even get the right one if not hybrids with other stars of kickboxing more? Time? That's a great question. Or sorry, that's a great point. Because who the fuck in MMA can he fight, right? All right, cool up down making his way to the ring now. Poor DiBella just got turned into a textbook example of when one's hydration goes horribly wrong. Absolutely. Let's hope Shatri doesn't put him in jail next to Pompayak. I know it'll never happen, but I want O'Malley versus Mighty so bad. Nongo, come, come back in coming. Nongo been looking like his tie fight knockoff Timu twin. When I f first saw this fight schedule, my mind said, no, God, no. The, the Michael Scott, no. Sean versus DJ would be fun. Well, actually, hey, denial. I know of, I know a free agent. Well, I guess he's not quite a free agent yet, but I know a fighter who wants out of his PFL slash Bellator deal. He's a fighter whose only loss in the UFC was to Mighty Mouse as well. Bellator champ, two-time Shudo champ, Ryzen champ. One champ, I mean, I hate to do this for him, but one championship, bring Horiguchi over, even just for one fight, and make that, make that the fight. Horiguchi, Mighty Mouse, in Japan, co-main event or main event, next to Takeru Rod Tang. Mighty Mouse would just do street beefs for his last fight, then hang the gloves in the street of Chicago for some reason, leaving like Batman. Wow. Wow, I love that. I do not want to see Nongo get KO'd again. I know, dude. I know. Three more fights left on the card. Or sorry, two more fights left on the card. By the way, I said three more fights because I forgot that Tabella's fight was canceled. I don't know, dude. I don't know those dudes that street beef see red. Dude, by the way, shout out to Mr. Grant Gregory. He's going to be uh, He's gonna be competing in one.
One fight only, though, has to be can't lock him into that organization that late in his career, but I like it. Yeah, no, that's the thing. And, and that's oh, that's what's annoying about one championship versus Ryzen. Ryzen is like the poster child for one fight contracts. Mighty Mouse versus Ian McCall, 2025. Bro, Horiguchi, Mighty Mouse in Tokyo, either Colmain or Main, and you got Takeru and Rod Tang as well. That would be fucking amazing. Mighty Mouse does like Street Beast and enjoys watching him break down. And I enjoy watching him break down the cards. It's kind of unexpected. And the legend, who's still in good shape here, Nongo, making his walk out now. In my opinion, the PFL tournament structure just sucks. And the fact they outlawed elbows to accommodate it is for worse. God, you're like my new best friend. Deciding paper is like my new best friend here on the channel. Dude, I think the PFL is an absolute disgrace to the sport of mixed martial arts. Uh, competing no way horiguchi versus pantoja i said it dude i agree i agree someone get the casket just in case someone's fears are made reality my chinese event fuck off mikey p <laughs> mikey p is just like evil laugh no no mikey p is doing the vanderlei right now staring at me going oh i'm gonna get isha fired up here <laughs> By the way, good to see you as always, Mikey P. And, and thank you so much for supporting the channel as much as you do, man. I, I really do appreciate it. I, I appreciate every single one of you in the live chat here today, man. You, you, this has been awesome. We have we had a, despite the PFL card being absolute trash yesterday, the live chat was elite. And, and today, I mean, it's delivered as well. Say mean things about the PFL and Isha shall knight you to his legion of anti-PFL warriors. Does one have Jake Paul, though? That is true. PFL is... Oh, oh and Nganu. Horiguchi versus Pantoja is the fight to make at 125. I mean, Horiguchi did say... Like, this one championship thing, that's pie in the sky. Horiguchi did say in multiple publications now that he wants one more run at a UFC title because he has the Bellator title. He had the Ryzen title. Two-time Shuto tournament champion. I mean, the only thing for Japanese MMA fighter left is... The UFC title. Do I think he's going to get it? I mean, he probably could beat Pantoja. I mean, the only fighter that was in his way in his UFC run was Mighty Mouse. He went 8-1 and one in the UFC. And Mighty Mouse was his only loss. What's up, MMA Events Vlog? Great channel, by the way, guys. If you want to see MMA Events Vlogs, go check out my homie over here. What's up? Only reason I peaked at this PFL card is because the belts are fighters and Talis Santos. Talis Santos did good. Talis Santos did good. I'm excited for that fight, man. I'm excited for friggin' Astro Boy. That's his nickname, right? Um, I'm excited for that. I'm not as triggered as uh, as the rest of the UFC fan fan base. It's like, let's get some fresh blood in there. Manel Cap keeps ruining his chances, missing weight, getting injured in camp. Some of them, in, you know, intentional. Some of them, well, not. I guess none of the things intentional, but obviously like an injury isn't intentional. So like Manel Cap is further than he's ever been from the title picture now. So fucking right. So like give this up and coming guy who wasn't necessarily rushed. I mean, I mean, he's rushed into a title picture, but he like his UFC career wasn't rushed. He's, he's, he's looked good. If, if that division wasn't so tied up, if Kai Car France wasn't coming off losses, if Moreno wasn't, well, Moreno, um, if Roy Val didn't just lose to Pantoja, and if Albazi wasn't injured, Albazi would probably be the next one up, right? Dude, it's crazy. Cop having uh, I don't. Is he having surgery? I know he had an injury. I don't know if he had surgery. I think Urseg takes Pantoja out, and it's a big mistake. Horiguchi's uh, my number two for flyweights of all time and top five small guy fighters of all time. Let's go. Yeah, fight is about to start. Fight is about to start. Yeah, Astro Boy. Cop having a sex change, I think. Nice, Jackson. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Ursig debuted after Bilal's last fight, and he has had a title show before. Bilal, yes! I love it. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. There's only one true Bilal, and his name is Bilal Hassan. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Cage for your FC. Let's go. Nongo with the body kick. 
Nong was still ranked number three in the promotion. I love that fact, no chill. Oh, so do I. Two minutes and 22 seconds. Nongo swinging a miss with the high kick. Kulub Dom lands a body kick on him in the counter. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Two minutes and eight seconds. Nongo with the good high guard. Kulub Dom throws a high kick. And apparently, yeah, Nongo was training with Superbon for this one, says the broadcast. Nice left to the body by Kulub Dom. Kulub Dom, 25 years of age, by the way. He's 7-3 and three in the promotion. Four knockouts, three unanimous decisions. And he hasn't lost since Meng Thai. One, two, three, four, five. One no contest in there as well. One minute and 29 seconds on the clock. Very technical fight here. Ooh, a nice left, right. And another right by Kulab Dam. Kulab Dam slips, though. Nongo, I mean. 37 years of age. Legend goes without saying. Lost his last two fights. John Haggerty, Nico Carrillo. But still 10-2 and two in the promotion, respectively. Oh, Nongo. Low kick. Couldn't land it on the body, though, as Kulab Dam employing a nice guard there. 57 seconds on the clock. So far, pretty even. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Do you have any connects contacts with one? I have one. I have one. Thirty-five seconds on the clock. Thirty-two seconds. Body kick by Nongo. Hundred people watching. Holy shit! Smash that like button, guys. One contact for one, yeah. Oh, big body kick by Nongo. 15 seconds left on the clock. Nongo's look good in this one, man. Kulub Dam might have a little too much respect for his idol here. 12 years, the elder. Kulub Dam looking for that big right hand. Nongo with the high kick. Outside low kick by Kulub Dam to end the round, and we're going into the second. I ain't going to say Irish. Wow. Cool of dumb. A, a little shy to pull the trigger. What do you guys think? Do you think he has, think he has a little too much respect for his, uh, for his idol here? He did land a good, uh, I shouldn't even say a good right hand. Nongo's been sharp with his high guard. And he's been doing a good job with the kicks. I can't reveal my source. Mind you, I don't I don't really hit them up for much info because they and I respect it don't spill much beans at all. But sometimes I'm like the first to hear about a few things. Muay Thai Twitter though, they're plugged in, man. If you're on Twitter, follow like follow that group. They're plugged in. And there's way more people there connected to one. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get Two minutes and 54 seconds on the clock. Nice body kick again by Nongo. Nongo wants another shot at Haggerty. Oh my goodness. Left, right, and a body kick by Nongo. Nongo's landing more shots than Kulub Dam so far in this fight. Like, I got Nongo winning the first round, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock here. Should I get the rights to stream on? Yeah, that's never going to happen. Nor do I want it that way. I, I like doing play-by-play -play and hanging, with, hanging out with you guys in the live chat. Right hand by Nongo. Looking for that high kick swing and a miss. The right hand was to the body of Kulab Dam, by the way. Kulab Dam here, now starting to pull the trigger a little bit. He lands some great shots, some nice hooks in the pocket. Nongo with a straight left jab. High kick just grazed Kulab Dam. Outside low kick by Kulab Dam. Looked like that was maybe right on the knee of Nongo. Is Nongo cut on next to his right eye? 
Nice left to the body by Kulab Dum. All right, Kulab Dum. I, I wonder if his coaches, his corner said after that first round, like, hey, he's a legend, but you can't respect him this much in there because Kulab Dum has really opened up the striking. And now Nongo with the right hand. Nongo with another right hand. Nongo with the right hand. Left uppercut misses, but lands the right kick to end the combo. Clinching is Kulab Dam. This is the Nongo that I wanted to see, ladies and gentlemen. Let's freaking go. Body kick by Nongo. Kulab Dam needs to circle right and south, Paul. One minute on the clock here. Nice right elbow by Nongo. Kulab Dam walked right into that. Dude, he's looking damn good, man. That open side right kick is eating him up. Nongo looking damn good in this one. I mean, Kulab Dam is good, but he ain't no Haggerty or uh, Carrillo. Nice right elbow by Nongo. 33 seconds on the clock. I don't even know what that means, Irish. 23 seconds on the clock. Kulab Dam swinging and missing in the corner. They're in the pocket there. Nongo with the left elbow. Nongo now engaging in the pocket. I mean, Kulab Dam has landed some big shots in this round, but I do think, like, Nongo's landed more shots and just as hard shots as Kulab Dam. Hey, what's up, Casey? Um, so the Minnesota Wild do like a Star Wars night, the Minnesota Wild of the National Hockey League. Uh, last year was a uh, Mark Andre Fleury uh, Boba Fett, but uh, my buddy actually got this for me. I didn't go to the game. Um, he bought it. He got it on a marketplace. So big shout out to my boy Jeremy. He uh, he picked it up for me. I'm like an old school Star Wars nerd. I think the new ones are trash. Um. It, it, this was fucking cool. I'm a hockey fan. I'm a Star Wars fan. So that was a cool little, uh, cool little gift. All right. Third round coming up here. Because I'm old, Irish snack box. I'm old. Hey, what's up, Hoggy from home? What are you getting at Starbucks? Holden, I bought the pay per view, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Dude, Nongo getting the crowd going. Nongo's getting me going. Let's fucking go. You missed Clash just to get Starbucks. Uh oh. Hot cocoa. Third and final round, co main event. Body kick by Nongo. I think Nongo's up two rounds. I really do. Like, I was rooting for Sexton and I was calling it how I saw it there. Like, everyone saw it. Nongo. Landing some more volume, but Kulab Dam, this might be the most dangerous round for Nongo because Kulab Dam literally has to throw everything in the kitchen sink, in my opinion. Nice right hand by Kulab Dam in the pocket. Stacks, where's the Russian? Like, I don't got one, bro. I don't got one. Looks like Nongo got poked in the eye. Two minutes and 17 seconds. Yes, yeah, Stacks, my apologies. Usually when I do streams and, I, and there's another spot to find it, I usually do share with you guys. I just, I don't have a spot for this one. But just for the record, like I always buy the pay-per-views for all the stuff that I stream just because if it craps out, I want to make sure that I'm still live and still giving you guys updates. See you later, Hockey. All right, we're back at it, guys. We're back at it. Two minutes on the clock. Nice high kick by Kulab Dam. Body kick by Kulab Dam. Nongo returns the favor. Oh, I agree. I agree, dude. I'm not thrilled either. Trust me. Paying 60 bucks almost for that one, 168. That was horrendous. Nongo with the body kick. Nongo with the right hand. Nongo in the clinch. Pushing Kulab Dam up against the ropes. Yeah, Stacks 420, trust me, and I, I, I ain't thrilled about this either. Body kick by Kulab Dam. Oh, dude, I, I'll pay for a pay-per-view. 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. The real fight junkies know, baby. 
I'm so much of a fight junkie, guys. I gave I gave one championship sixty dollars for a shit card. One minute and thirteen seconds on the clock. Yeah, at least the fight nights uh, are on Amazon Prime for us in North America. One minute on the clock. Again, I'm not defending one. Been watching one for years. Been getting more greedy. Yeah. My understanding is they're fucking burning money left, right, and center, and they, they need to make a little bit of money now. But well, again, I, I'm not thrilled, and I totally understand the frustration. Trust me. Should be on Prime. One championship, 168 cost me $60. 35 seconds on the clock. Low kick by Nongo. For the Takeru. I mean, Takeru versus Superlek. It was worth 60 alone. Superlek's my favorite combat sport athlete right now. But uh, yeah, that was rough. Yeah, that's my understanding as well. That's right. Fight junkies rejoice and unite. Oh, whatever it was. The, the, Maybe it's not 168. The 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 Tokyo card. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, to Anthony's point, one gives you a completely free card every week. It's like, I think only once a month now they're doing pay-per-view. Thank God Nongo didn't get starched again. And dude, if anything, I think he won this fight. I think he won this fight. Let me know in the live chat. You guys think Nongo won this one? Like Kulabdum had a, I think Kulabdum's best round was was the was the third round personally. He may have won this card. It's he outstruck him. It just how how are the judges going to factor in the pressure that Kulabdum put on him, and and the the power behind the shots. Jackson, uh, there might be a link in this thread, and I might have put it there. Out of boy, out of boy. I don't know. I can't see it. All right, we're listening in for the decision. Oh, it's unanimous. No, no wins. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not out of it yet, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking rights, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what you want to see. We all thought he had a death wish. Mikey P. Parlay still up. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking rights, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I'm so... Hey, I'm so happy he didn't get knocked the fuck out and taken more damage. And B, he got the win, man. Just cash plus 1,600. Let's go, baby. I spy. Let's go, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Jack Reese, I couldn't find it anywhere either. That's why I bought the pay-per-view. Oh my goodness. Let's fucking go. Dude, look at it. Look how stoked we're getting. We're in North America. Well, I don't know. I can't speak on behalf of everyone in the chat, but like, I'm in North America. And we're cheering on this Thai legend, man. Unbelievable. I mean, you should have seen me when Buakaw won in Ryzen. I lost my shit on stream. And that was like, that was a finish. Wow. Wow. Jackson, now they're going to hound you, dude. They all got Google. They can find it. All right. Oh, why does the banner keep popping up? That's annoying. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, Does anyone remember Prime Minecraft? I, I never I'm too old for that shit, man. I was too old even when it came out. And it wasn't as intense of a gamer. I know there's some people who probably still play it and have run servers and things like that. And again, I don't judge. I've just never been a big gamer. The only games that I've really played were like old school Mario games. Um, dabbled in Time Splitters 2, which is underrated game. 
And then uh, I played GTA 5 for self-care. Shows how fucked up I am. And, uh, and Counter-Strike. Th those are the only games I've really, really uh, got into. Wait, why the fuck did I not write his name here? There we go. Uh, Matt, it, I, I don't think you can paste links, but if you want to type it out, that's cool. Uh, appreciate you for asking, though, Jackson. I was really on Minecraft the last two weeks. Easiest to play with my surgery pains. There you go. There you go. It's just never been my my type of game, I guess. And I, I'm, just, I'm just not a big gamer. I never have been. I've always sucked at games. But there's a few that have, like, drawn me in and I've gotten, like, stupid addicted to. And Counter-Strike was probably the biggest one. Cody! Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going, Cody? Only 25 bucks pay-per-view, man. It's worth a Super Bond fight. Good to see you, man. Hope all is well. And main event of the evening coming up here. Cody, we we got cucked with no DeBella as a co-main event. Brother, I had you on stream. So I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, dude. Nothing personal. Oh, Steam. I thought you said Steam stream. I was like, I don't know about that. Uh, I'll add you on Steam. You play Counter-Strike? What's your... Uh... What's your username? Hit, hit me up on Twitter, your username. I'll add you on Steam. I got to start playing Counter-Strike again eventually. Uh, since 1.6. Atta boy, let's go. Yeah, I played quite a bit of CSGO. I, I mean, I'm not great at it, but uh, it, it's it's one of my... It, it's, it is the greatest video game ever made, in my opinion. I've seen some stupid things before, but there's a person in a free stream asking for the actual link. What the hell? Got you, big dog. Let's go. Hey, great to see you in the chat here, Cody. My man. Fakey, I bought the pay-per-view, brother. I bought the pay-per-view. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I wish I could, and I would if I had I had some place to watch it, but I don't, man. I'm sorry. 100%. Let's fucking go, man. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Who do I have in the main event? Bro, Fakey's now fucking going to spam here. This one's tough, man. This one's tough. All right, Fakey. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to silence you if you keep doing this. I do not have one. I bought the pay-per-view, sir. All right, Marat Gregorian, ladies and gentlemen. And these guys have fought many times before. 32 years of age out of Armenia, three-time glory kickboxing world champion. Do, 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 do. And in 2000, or he, or he led, he actually fought some fights in K1 as well. And in 2018, um, he actually knocked out Superbon in 29 seconds at Kunlun uh, fights. And uh, I think they fought, what, three times? He had a great win against Sidichai in his last fight. Lost to Chingiz Alizov, who's, you know, right now, pound for pound, best kickboxer out there. Lost to Superbon in, at 1x. That's right. And before he fought Superbon in one championship, he had two big wins against Andy Sauer and Ivan Kodratev. All right, Superbond now making his walk out as well. What do you think is Super Like Haggerty coming up? I think Super Like beats him again. I'm hoping it's not in a cage. I'm hoping it's in a ring, but I think Super Like beats him again. Uh, Superbond, 33 years of age. And uh, he looked good in his last fight. He did look good in his last fight. Uh, beat Sidichai two years ago as well. Um, took out uh, Petrosian, and also got that win back or got a win back against uh, Gregorian. Do, 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 do. He lost his last fight, a narrow 
loss to Tawan Chai. And uh, his only other notable loss in the promotion was to, again, the pound-for-pound pound best kickboxer right now, Chingiz Alizov. If you look at the guys that he beat, Sidichai, Petrosian, Gregorian, uh, Ozcan, and Tawanchai was a very close fight, but props to Tawanchai getting that one done. Uh, where the hell is Chingiz? I'm trying to watch, dude. Guys, I'm <laughs> I bought the pay-per-view. I'm literally using one FC, my man. All right, main event coming up here, guys. Main event coming up here. Let me know your predictions for this one. Ah. Uh, man, this is so tough. I'm going to go with Super Bond, but I'm like I'm torn. I'm torn, man. I'm going with Super Bomb, but it could go either way. The main event. Oh man, I feel I feel robbed a little bit. And again, I'm wishing all the best to John DeBella and his recovery. Hope he comes back strong and wins back that belt, my Canadian brother. But uh, man, I was looking forward to that fight the most. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, by the way, guys, I did interview John DeBella a few months back. I guess five months back now. Wow, it's been a little while. Um, if you guys want to see that interview, check this out. 67 and 13 for the Armenian Marat Gregorian. Maybe Jackson, maybe you might just have to like, just write, but honestly, like it's not your fault. Yeah. Jackson tried guys. Jackson tried. If he found it, you can find you. Hey Jackson. Hey, appreciate you for trying, buddy. Appreciate you from trying, but yeah, don't want, I don't want you to be distracted from this uh, main event anymore with that. All right. Here we go, guys. Main event of the evening. Oh, is ja Jackson ain't Google, bro. Jackson, they're treating you like, like your Google search. And again, guys, I would share I would share one if I had one. I don't have one, so my apologies. One championship, Ryzen and KSW, they're just non-existent. No, dude, Jackson's good shit, man. Jackson's good shit. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. No, dude, Jackson ain't trolling. He's good shit. He's been trying to help you guys out. I know Jackson. Anyways, two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Left and a right by Gregorian. Number one versus number two for the interim title here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, man, Jackson's good shit. I can vouch for him. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. Yeah, but it always craps out. And I can't, if I do live streams, I can't have it crap out, dude. Two minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. And I don't mind paying the 10 bucks for KSW. It's nothing. Two minutes and 16 seconds. Bro, Iris, why do you keep wanting to troll us, man? Honestly. Like, we're just trying to watch fights here, brother. Nice knee to the body by Super Bond. Left jab by Super Bond. Gregorian takes that outside low kick. He's the one applying the pressure right now, though. They reset center of the ring. One minute, 49 seconds on the clock. Gregorian with the outside low kick. Super bomb with the outside low kick. Nice left, right, and outside low kick by Gregorian. Then he changes stances again. That was nice. We all know what Super Bond's head kicks do when they hit clean from uh, Chen, Zichen, and Kulin fight to... Top one, Oz Cannon one. When those land, there's no recovering from that. Great point, great point. Outside low kick 
by Gregorian. Straight left jab by Gregorian. Straight, double left jab by Superbon. One minute and 23 seconds on the clock. Push kick by Gregorian. Knee to the body by Superbon. Outside low kick by Superbon. Straight left by Gregorian. I don't mind paying for a pay-per-view here and there when they give us so many free events and I don't have to have a TV subscription service. Absolutely. No. 60 bucks for one championship card and it's a little steep, but I'll gladly play 25 for Ryzen all day, every day. I just don't, I just, you know, I just budget accordingly. 40 seconds on the clock. Oh, Superbone tried to go for that high kick, but he slipped. Straight left jab by Superbone. Left jab by Gregorian. <laughs> 18 seconds on the clock. Inside low kick by Gregorian, followed by right hand. High kick by Superbone. Doesn't land clean. Gregorian doing some good work in the clincher. Nice left uppercut by Gregorian. That's actually an awesome bundle. That's a great bundle. And that is it for the first round. Again, big shout out to everybody in the live chat. You, that is right. You watching right now. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. It's been so much fun. The live chat's been buzzing. These fights, you know, despite not having a lot of knockouts, the fights strangely delivered. Great fights, great vibes, and I really appreciate every single one of you. Just the next four pay-per-views. It's always good to see Jackson good here for a little one championship. Shout out. Hey, shout out to you, Chantel. Thank you so much for joining. All right, round two, guys. Five rounds if needed, by the way. This is a title fight, the interim title fight. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Push kick by Superbon. Gregorian trying to take away his space. He wants none of that high kick. Two minutes and 44 seconds. The next four, JC. I don't know them off the top of my head. I don't know how to describe it, but Gregorian looks sturdy. Oh, a nice right and left by Gregorian. Um, we'll take a look after, okay? We'll take a look after. Two minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Superbon. Knee by Superbon. Straight left jab by Superbon. Another left jab by Superbon. Gregorian with the right uppercut followed by a left hook. Superbon with the knee unfazed by that combo. Knee by Superbon. They meet center of the ring again. These knees Superbon is landing are nasty. Oh, and a big left body shot. Another left body shot by Superbon. Forcing. Hey, he's baiting. He's baiting him. He's making Gregorian drop his hands to cover his body. Then he's going to go high. Superbon really attacking the body. I think he's doing that so that Gregorian will drop his hands and he'll throw that high kick. And it'll be good night, Jim Kite. Another shot to the body. Nice step back right by Gregorian, but Superbon continuing to attack the body. Gregorian with a nice left uppercut. He has landed that throughout this fight thus far. Gregorian is basically Dutch style. He advances forward no matter what. Who thinks that the interim fights? What? This is an interim uh, boxing, or this is an interim kickboxing world title, buddy. See Superbon going higher and higher with that now. Outside low kick by Superbon. Another kick low by Superbon. Outside low kick by Gregorian. Knee to the body by Superbon again, man. Great second round. Great second round for Superbon in front of his Thai home crowd here at Lumpini. How many body shots can Gregorian take, right? Tough as nails. It's definitely going to slow him down a little bit.
And the broadcast is saying Super Bond might be feeling that left kick that Gregorian's thrown out. Bro, broadcast. And there it is again. I mean, Gr Gregorian did land a good low kick, but Super Bond's been doing way more damage. Hey, I'm glad you found one section against Stax. I, I hope you don't hold it against me, brother. I mean, I, 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 I would help you if I could, man. I'd help you if I could. I usually got a spot for most of the other ones, but... This is it. This is the main event. This is the main event. Great round by Super Superbon as we wrap up number two. Don't worry, brother. All right. We're cool, man. We're cool. I'm just that crazy fuck. I got I got I, I don't want to risk any of the, you know, when I do these. And honestly, most of the time, too, I don't want to risk it crapping out and I get FOMO. So I just, I buck up when I can. I buck up when I can. Oh, man, those knees. In what sport, Irish? In boxing, kickboxing, MMA? I think an interim belt in the UFC... If it's silver, would be pretty cool, but I don't think four rounds has anything to do with that. It should be five rounds. Super Bond starting to pull away. We shall see. Third round, ladies and gentlemen. He looked good in the second. It's Stack's turn to disappoint the chat now. <laughs> Gregorian turning it up here with those uppercuts. High kick by Super Bond. Didn't land clean. Super Bond with the outside low kick. MMA. I have five rounds always. If it's going to be a title fight, I don't care if you're interim or not. But silver belt would be sweet. Two minutes and 27 seconds on the clock. <laughs> not so disappointing. Two minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Left uppercut again by Gregorian. Left to the body, outside low kick. Gregorian with the one two and a low kick, but the one two didn't land. One minute and 57 seconds on the clock. Left hook by Gregorian. Left uppercut by Gregorian. Knee again by Super Lick, or sorry, by Super Bond. Jeez, Rodian slip. Uh, but that didn't land. Gregorian did a good job covering up. Stacks, I don't see it either, dude. I don't think the chat sees that yours either. <laughs> See what I mean? One minute and 23 seconds on the clock. Disappointment all around. Me, Stax, Jackson. We disappointed you guys. I'm sorry. One minute and 11 seconds on the clock here. Outside low kick by Gregorian. <laughs> Better round for Gregorian here. Super like hasn't landed as many knees and kicks like he did in the second round. This one could go his way. Gregorian, that is. Super bomb with the right uppercut, but Gregorian, or so with the right hook. Gregorian with the left uppercut and right hook. Super bomb enters with a knee again. Gregorian with a knee to the body. Gregorian tried to go with a Superman punch. Ended up with a combo. Music guy on YouTube? Oh, that guy. He's back. 30 seconds on the clock in this third round. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That, that's what I've done as well. Outside low kick by Gregorian. I think Gregorian takes this round. Close, close, but... Ah, it's tough. He just looks so much better than in the second round. Maybe that's why I'm leaning that way. End of the third. We go into the first of two championship rounds next. We're just crazy. I hope that guy deletes it right after because one championship and shot you're going to come after him with the full freaking Singapore force unlike Dana White. Nah, dude, I don't do that. That's not, I don't do that. 
I would never. Oh, look at the lead left leg of Gregorian, dude. It is bruised to shit. Not quite super, uh, Takeru super like bruise, but no, I'm, uh, I, I think trolling is fucking stupid, dude. And I don't waste my fucking time doing that shit. Intentionally just trying to, you know, ruin a stream for someone. It makes no sense. All right. Round four. Outside low kick by Gregorian. Superbon tried to land a high kick too close in range. Two minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Always. Always. My favorite combat sports athlete is the rice loving Superlek. Wrong super, yeah. I've let it slip twice now on stream. Two minutes and 27 seconds on the clock. Good to still have you in the chat here, Locksmith. Two minutes and 21 seconds. Knee to the body on the entry by Superbon, but I don't even want to say he slowed down. His output is just diminished a little bit. Superbon looking like a traditional tie in this fight. Body kick by Superbon. Some deep breaths there by Superbon, and Gregorian continues to push forward. Gregorian with the outside low kick. Gregorian with a couple of right hands. Gregorian lands another right hand. Gregorian applying pressure here. This is the best round we've seen from Gregorian yet, ladies and gentlemen. Huge uppercut again by Gregorian. One minute and 38 seconds on the clock. Good knees and kicks. Knee by Superbon on the entry. Gregorian lands a nice left hook. First round could go either way. Second round, Superbon. Third round could go either way. This fourth round so far going to Gregorian. This is going to be a close fight. It might come down to the, to the fifth round. As far as scoring goes. Outside low kick by Superbon. High kick attempt by Superbon. Knee on the entry, but just doesn't have that power that he seemingly had earlier. Now, I know this is round four, so end of the fourth round, too, so that makes sense, but just call him what I see. Just call him what I see. Gregorian pressuring Superbon into the corner here. Beautiful body shots by Gregorian. Gregorian, look for that straight left uppercut, man. Knee to the body by Superbon again. Superbon is fucking gassed. Outside low kick by Gregorian. Yeah, he's slowing down big time. He's huffing and puffing. Superbon enters with a knee again. Knee again by Superbon. Yeah, Superbon might be gassed. I see it too, guys. He's breathing from his mouth right now. Body shot by Superbon. Oh, yeah, he's gassed, bro. He's gassed. Superbon won the last minute, minute and a half of that round somehow. Good slips, right? Despite being gassed, he actually slipped through a few of those big shots and landed those knees and leg kicks again. This honestly, what, two rounds apiece? Assuming that Gregorian won the first round? What do you guys think here? How are you scoring this one so far? It's either tied or Gregorian up a round. It's either 2-2 two, two or Gregorian's up 3-1. Cuz it was really like the second round was the only round where was definitive where I can definitively say that Superbon won that round. But mind you, the first round's kind of a toss up. Third round I say that that was Gregorian's round. Gregorian took that last round. 2-2 two -two says Casey. The action of the knees, even in this state, is so impressive. All right. Fifth and final round, ladies and gentlemen, for the title. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Two minutes and 47 seconds. Superbon again with the entry on the knee, but Gregorian with the left uppercut, right hook. 
Swinging with that right hand is Gregorian missing. Superlek lands a shot to the body. Tries to go high with that kick again. 3-1 says real 10. Couldn't see, couldn't see the first three. Not so sure. Superbon getting warning to not pull Gregorian down in the clinch. Uh, shout out to the puppy. Botched. What's up, Taz? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Gregorian with a deep breath here, too. He's getting a little bit tired, but we saw Superbon already starting to fade in the fourth. Body kick again by Superbon. Superbon again with that knee entry. How does he continue to land that knee despite him being gassed as fuck? Gregorian is landing more volume in this fifth round, though. Right by Gregorian. Left uppercut. Superbon may have blocked the uppercut there, but oh, that right uppercut by Gregorian landed. But Superbon just lands a right uppercut as well. Gregorian goes for the high kick. Not a lot of power behind that one. Gregorian's starting to get tired too, so maybe maybe Superbon has one last push here. One minute and 28 seconds on the clock, guys. Knee by Superbon. Body kick by Superbon. Straight left by Superbon. Another straight left by Superbon. Right by Superbon. Step back right by Gregorian. Final minute. Gregorian has it in him to make it through the round. Absolutely. Absolutely, he does. One minute on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Knee by Superbon. Gregorian doesn't look as sharp as he as he did in the fourth round, not landing as much volume as he has in the fourth round. Outside low kick by Gregorian. We got 45 seconds left, buddy. I think it's 2-2. Two, two. 35 seconds on the clock. How am I behind and I paid for the pay-per-view? That's crazy. God damn it, Shatri. 25 seconds. Body kick by Superbon. Uh, Murat Volume is taking the fight right now. 15 seconds. Superbon with another knee. I honestly think this, this fifth round could go either way. Another knee entry by Superbon, and here we go. A final combo by Marat Gregorian, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. This one goes the distance. Superbon, one round, five, three, two, Superbon, let's go. I, I, he might have done it. Round one, I have no idea. Could go either way. Round two, Superbon. Round three, Gregorian. Round four, Gregorian, and round five, Superbon. I think Superbon won last. I do too. Good fight, though, man. Good fight. I need Superbon for the sweep. I know Mikey P needs Superbon for the plus, uh, was it 900, some rather? Yo, miss the whole card. Fuck work. No, no, they don't. No, they don't, Jay Morant. This is, this is kickboxing. They only judge the whole fight in MMA, sir. Good to see you, by the way, uh, Ja Morant. But yeah, they, they only they they a hundred percent do ten point must system in in um, Muay Thai and kickboxing. Hey, well, hopefully you get to catch up, Arthur, and it's good to see you. Hopefully you get to catch up. This card, not a lot of knockouts and TKOs, but really, really good scraps. And the Nongo fight was awesome. It's a toss up. The main event was a good fight. Yep, it was a toss-up. Can't be mad either way. Oh, watch tomorrow's card. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening in for the decision now. Yeah, you're a little bit ahead of me, Stax, which is funny. I paid for the pay-per-view and Stax ahead of me. That's hilarious. All right, we're listening in. We're listening in. Oh, it's unanimous. I thought this one might be split. Oh, they're giving it to Thailand. This is in Lupini, right? Super Bond wins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unanimous. I thought this one would at least be a split decision, but it is in Lupini. It is in Thailand. And...
and no! And Gregorian, he's not like upset. Great display of respect between the camps and fighters. He knew it was a close fight as well. Super Bon and Mikey P making that money. Thanks for the cheddar. Uh, Jammer, you got Ursel. Yeah, dude, Ursel's such a beast, man. I love watching him fight. Let's go. MMA Locksmith making some money too on this one. Great fight. Great card, guys. Talk about a, a rally from Fede in the fourth round too, eh? Speaking of Cheddar, by the way, big shout out to Cheddarhead for the $10 donos earlier in this stream. Big shout out to Mr. Grant Gregory who re-upped his membership for 14 months. And for $5, man. Thank you, all of you guys. I had Super Bond winning too. Super Bond, let's go! Nice to see him take that at home. Yeah, absolutely. Especially after losing to Taiwan Chai. Yeah, cool. Uh, Gregorian's one of my faves. So he asked him what he wants next. Uh, I want to see him run it back against Taiwan Chai, per uh, personally. What are some bookies in North America that have won? Bovada has it. I think uh, here. Let me let me let me check for you, buddy. He wants to fight Alizov. All right, let me find. Da, 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 da. All right, let me find the odds for you, buddy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, and and it's they don't always have them on here. But uh, Jazz, Bet Online, Bovada, Bet US, and Betway usually have at least a few of the fights on on their on their sites. It's tonight. If you're again, you're in North America, so it is tonight. It is tonight. Oh, winning at Lupini is so big for the Thai fighters, regardless if it's one or Lupini itself. Absolutely, the Madison Square Garden of Thailand. What happened to Alizov? Um, him and Shotri have been button heads a little bit. He's uh, He might be in Pampayak jail. The bodywork was nasty in the second half. Hey, you're from Canada too, Stax? I should have known. I should have known. What's up, A? Eh? Post-fight interview sucks so bad on the link because the Russian live translate over top and them trying to talk. That's hilarious. All right, guys. Usually, I would be here tonight for one fight night, but I am actually going to the LFA event tonight here because it's in Minnesota. I live in Minnesota, so I'm going to the LFA event. Um, I just want to give a shout-out, though. I just want to give a shout-out. Our boy... Alvin motherfucking Guzzi Hines is going to be fighting on the main card tonight in front of his home state, in front of his friends and family. He's going up against Justin Smith. This is arguably his biggest competition thus far. You know, new to pro, but had a pretty good amateur career. Rooting for you, Alvin. You're not watching right now. I know you're preparing for your fight tonight, but all the best. Can't wait to see you kick the shit. Out of Justin Smith so I can buy you a beer. Hell, I'll buy you a beer and a meal after the event anyways, my man. Um, he said that he wants Alizov. East Coast, baby. Nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, I got to make my way back to uh, Halifax and PEI. I'm originally from Vancouver Island, so I want to I wanna hang out on the eastern side. What's up, hockey? Hey, thank you for joining, Casey. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Hey, I'm going to be taking a page out of your book and filming a MMA events vlog. Dude, the Japanese guy is a motherfucker. Dude, Archer, the Japanese guy put on a masterclass. 
It was hard to watch if you're a sex and fan, but the man who yields to no one didn't get knocked out. He yields to fucking no one. He's a zombie. He kept walking forward. But this Japanese fighter, he's good, man. He's really good. Get to see class again to use the toilet. <laughs> He should have a great time, LFA 181, brother. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. Uh, from New Brunswick. Oh, nice, dude. Hey, Mooseheads on me if I ever make my way out there, all right? <laughs> Shout out the Mooseheads. Um, guys, quickly, let's take a look at my schedule for the rest of the weekend here. Shout out to Rush Hour Fight Club. Go subscribe to him, too. All right, so here's my schedule coming up the rest of the... There's some other videos if you guys want to watch. The rest of the weekend. So yeah, I'm going to LFA tonight, so I probably won't be streaming anymore today. Tomorrow, bright and early, RWS. Then I'm going to an NHL game, so I will likely not stream KSW, but I will be back for the final few fights of UFC, and then I'll probably be streaming into the night, doing some deep, and then uh, Sunday, Anthony Pettis as well again guys appreciate every single one of you who have joined smash that like button and subscribe uh moosehead's fucking lost number two chl team and went out to the bathurst titans 4-0 series l first round that's crazy i didn't i didn't think bathurst was going to get it done i didn't think bathurst was going to get it done i'm glad you're a junior hockey fan the whl is my shit man i grew up in prince george before i moved to vancouver island so like prince george cougars i saw dustin bufflin play for the team um i was too young to remember chara but i remembered ham Hughes. um i remember Derek bugard rest in peace him just beating the shit out of everybody um it was like that was my nhl team as a kid it was bchl on friday whl on saturday then moving to vancouver island when the um when the Salmon Kings of the ECHL moved out of the Save On Food Center, they brought in the Victoria Royals. So I was actually a season ticket holder for the Victoria Royals. And when I lived in Calgary, I was a season ticket holder for the Calgary Hitman. So, like, I'm a big junior hockey guy. For some reason, some LFA prelims are... You... Un... I don't know what that means. You... Del... Vives? Number two, losing number seven. Rate the card... I can't give it anything more than I'll give it a solid eight out of 10. I can't give it anything more because we didn't see enough knockouts, but we saw some amazing fights. Fuck that's nuts. Got a few red deer rebels. Dude, I used to travel with the Calgary Hitman supporters group in their fucking crazy bus. And we'd go to, we'd go to that barn. It it's a beautiful barn. Shout out to the Hunter family, obviously um, who basically own and run that de uh, red deer rebels organization and program but uh, yeah man i was i was a calgary hit i'm i'll always be a calgary hit man that was the first ever jersey that i bought before i bought a canucks jersey before i bought you know an ov capitals jersey before i even found one of those mighty ducks jerseys hitman baby oh it means don't show all of the prelims look at that i learned something new every day i think there's a chunk of them that are going to be on youtube or fight pass or, or YouTube's uh, UFC Fight Pass, but I know the amateur prelims, and they're not showing. Remember the last time I went, they showed like four amateur fights and then two pro fights that weren't televised. But uh, anyways, guys, look out for me in LFA. I'll be the one with a Canadian flag and my jean, not this jacket, but a jean jacket. And I'll be waving to the camera saying what's up to you guys. But that's it for this stream. And new Super Bowl on the interim champ. Appreciate every single one of you. Smash that like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.